Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Marine. Crazy. You call it a ninja. Chapter 1. West Blue. Marine's T3 Branch. Hee <laughs> hee. I was refrigerated by naval headquarters for three years, right? At this time, Luo Lei suddenly opened his white eyes after finishing a day of training in a very simple training ground in the T3 branch, and sighed in disapproval. That's right, he is a traveler, four years ago. Traversed to the world of pirates. After the initial hesitation and anxiety, he quickly adapted to the new environment. In order to survive in the pirate world where the weak eat the weak, he took the initiative to join the army, joined Marine Recruit, and became one of the 24th class of students brought by Marine Chief Instructor Zephyr. Maybe luck, after entering Marine's recruiting camp, the Cheat God level lottery system is activated. Through the lottery, he can gradually grow into a terrifying powerhouse. And by activating the three free lottery prizes given by the God level lottery system, he won Bayan, Gentle Fist Grand Master, and Junior Sage Body respectively. To this, Luo Lei was stunned for a long time. What's more, after crossing into the world of One Piece, the system allowed him to draw the ability of the world of Hokage, which clearly made him a powerful ninja. This is too nonsense, right? But, there is no cheat, it is fools and idiots. So, complaining is complaining, he still chose the law of true fragrance, and neatly integrated the white eyes, gentle fist grandmaster, and junior sage body. So, he completed a gorgeous transformation. Became a powerful taijutsu ninja in the recruit camp, especially after learning Marine's six styles. With Bai Yan, Chakra of Gentle Fist, Junior Sage Body, just spent half a year, graduated from the recruit camp ahead of schedule with full marks, and became a promising Marine star. Especially the identity of the ninja surprised many Marines. In Zephyr's words, Luo Lei subverted his inherent knowledge of Taijutsu, and the derived ninjutsu is more powerful than imagined, and the cooperation between chakra and armament hockey is a perfect match. In the future, Marine's high-end combat power will definitely have his place. Pity, man is not as good as God. In an escort mission, because he ignored the orders of celestial dragons and did not give celestial dragons face, annoyed the world nobles, celestial dragons. In order to give an explanation to Celestial Dragons, Luo Lei was hidden by Marine's high-level rise and fall, and was demoted to the fish pond of West Blue. From a promising new star, he became the branch head of Marine West Blue T3 branch, with the rank of Commodore. And this so-called West Blue T3 branch is just a small branch that has just been established. After Luo Lei took office, the previous head of the branch was transferred away, and he also took away the remaining 10 or more marine soldiers of the West BLUET 3 branch. Luo Lei went to recruit people and cultivate his own confidence. To this, Luo Lei readily accepted. Originally, after activating the God Level Lottery system, he just wanted to find a quieter place to practice properly. This seemingly remote and humble West BLUET 3 branch was just right for him to practice. In this situation, he practiced in the West Blue Marine T3 branch for three years in a low-key manner. For three years, he almost didn't make any moves, and he didn't show his presence too much. Except for cultivation, it was cultivation. Celestial dragons, really rubbish among rubbish. I do not know how long it has been. Luo Lei stretched, a coldness flashed in his eyes. Although he joined Marine, he doesn't have Marine servility. If he is given another choice, he will still not give celestial dragons any face, and kneeling is even more impossible. Marine executives, I'll let you know what a real ninja is. The next moment, Luo Lei grinned and muttered to himself, three years, it's been three full years, as the branch head of Marinette 3 branch, if I have a chance, I will shake the sea and return to naval headquarters, of system, I want to see my own property panel. Thinking of this, the corners of Luo Lei's mouth twitched slightly, and he silently ordered. Ding, host's property panel is being generated. Ding, the property panel is generated. Dash, host, Luo Lei. Age, 15 years old. Abilities, shave, intermediate, iron body, intermediate, paper arts, intermediate, moonwalk, intermediate, tempest kick, intermediate, finger pistol, intermediate, observation hockey, beginner, armament hockey, beginner, second Hokage. Templates of Senju Tobarama Unlock 50% Fusion Gentle Fist Grandmaster White Eyes Junior Sage Body Random Draw Three times Draw Points None Dash The Strength is Steadily Increasing 
Have you accumulated three random lottery chances now? Probably glanced around. Luo Lei's eyes fell on the number of random draws. In general, the god level lottery system will give you a chance for a free random lottery every six months, and after practicing in the West BLUET3 branch for three years, the system has rewarded a total of six free random lottery opportunities. He has used it three times and now has three left. In a year ago, he used a random lottery rewarded by the system. In the Hokage world, the second Hokage of Konoha village in the country of fire, first Hokage's younger brother, one of the founders of Konoha village, and Senju Tobarama's character summoning card. At that time Luo Lei was overjoyed. After all, this is second Hokage Senju Tobarama, a man who is known as, the fastest speed in the ninja world. What makes Luo Lei even more excited is that, Senju Tobarama Grandmaster Water Style, in the world of pirates, isn't it like a duck to water? In short, isn't it as easy to beat demon fruit power as it is to beat a sun? But, just when he wanted to summon Senju Tobarama, the system told him that the character summoning card can not only be summoned, but also can be merged. Once the fusion is selected, Senju Tobarama's character summoning card will evolve into Senju Tobarama's character template, allowing the host to carry out inheritance and unlock fusion. After unlocking, the host will have the strength of Senju Tobarama at his peak. To this, Luo Lei hesitated for a while. Without hesitation, I chose the character template that incorporates Senju Tobarama. Joke, being strong is really strong. Although he has drawn Gentle Fist Grandmaster, White Eyes, and Junior Sage Body, but, the strength growth is still too slow. Especially as a ninja, with Marine Six Styles, he is very good in ninjutsu, but, ninjutsu is somewhat dwarfed. And once the fusion can integrate Senju Tobarama's character template, his talents and abilities will undergo a transformation, and there will be an earth-shaking change in ninjutsu. Say something bad, is the ninja in the pirate world a ninja? He, if the template of Senju Tobarama is unlocked, the real ninja will be born. At this stage, through hard work, he has already made second Hokage Senju Tobarama's template unlocked fusion 50%. Unlocks all of Senju Tobarama's water style and some basic ninjutsu. As for the strange power, flying thunder god technique, impure world reincarnation, multiple shadow clone technique, etc., have not been unlocked successfully. For now, we still have to work hard and focus on unlocking the template of Senju Tobarama. Luo Lei took a deep breath, and a gleam of light flashed in his white eyes. Have nothing to say, although compared to first Hokage Senju Hashirama, Second Hokage Senju Tobarama is slightly less coquettish. But, that's enough for Luo Lei, who is basically invincible once the template for fusion second Hokage Senju Tobarama is fully unlocked. As for the cultivation of Conqueror's Hockey, the cultivation of Marine Six Styles, and how Bayan evolved to Tensegen, this is not something that happened overnight. If you can't eat hot tofu in a hurry, just take your time. If you have time, Go look for something valuable, exchange a little lottery point, and let's draw a lottery. Soon, Luo Lei glanced at his property panel again. When, seeing that the lottery points were zero, Luo Lei's mouth twitched a few times. If there were no lottery points, it meant that there was no chance to exchange gold for random lottery. As for how the lottery points come about, according to the meaning of the system, it can be exchanged for valuable things in the pirate world. All right. Over the past three years, Luo Lei stayed at the West Blue Marine T3 branch. Reclusive, low-key cultivation, no thought to find anything of value to exchange for lucky draw points. But, after a few seconds, Luo Lei turned his eyes. Just looking at the three random lottery prizes given by the system. In the random lottery a year ago, he was lucky enough to draw the character template of second Hokage Senju Tobarama, and now it seems that he can play again in the lottery. Go for a bike and turn into a motorcycle. If you are lucky, maybe get some good stuff. System, give me a random lottery first. The next moment, Luo Lei didn't hesitate and gave a neat order. Ding, the voice did not fall. In the translucent space that Luo Lei can only see, a large roulette appeared. On the roulette wheel, it is divided into dozens of small squares. Each small square is filled with some question marks and a few small squares are directly blank. The question mark means that what was drawn is random, and the blank means that nothing was drawn. After a few seconds, the hands of the roulette wheel began to spin rapidly. 
Dang. Congratulations, host, I have drawn Hoshigaki Kisame, peak period, from the character summoning card, Hokage Ninja. Another character summoning card. Listen to the system prompts. Luole couldn't help but let out an exclamation. As for Hoshigaki Kisame, he knows that he is one of the second batch of seven ninja swordsmen in the kingdom of Water A. Kurigakur, and later joined the Akatsuki organization and is also the second user of the big sword A. Samahata. Has a shark like face, complexion, and sharp teeth. It is good at attacking with water style and the sword, Samahata, a sword that can absorb chakra. Because of the amazing chakra in his body, he was called the tailless beast. In the end, Might Guy used eight inner gates, defeated him, and killed himself. Now, he drew Hoshigaki Kisami's character summoning card. I have to say that I am very lucky. The only thing that makes Luole a little confused is that this time the random lottery draw was a ninja. It can only be said that the system is really wonderful. System gave me the remaining two random draws. With a good start, Luole didn't even think about it and ordered again. Ding, ding, host, I didn't draw anything in the first random draw. As the pointer stopped on the blank grid, the mechanical voice of the system also sounded in Luole's mind. Ah, Luole's expression became a little stiff. But, just as a few black lines appeared on Luole's forehead. Ding, congratulations to host, the second random lottery draw has drawn fish and fish fruits, ancient species, and megalodon form, system produced, must be a high quality product, absolutely no side effects, you can use it with confidence. Did you get the devil fruit that has no side effects? Or is it a relatively rare fish and fish fruit? The next moment, Luo Lei looked startled, his eyes narrowed sharply. This time, I didn't get anything from the Hokage world, but I got a devil fruit, which is still in the form of Yuyu fruit, ancient species, and megalodon. And for fish and fish fruit, Luo Lei is also no stranger, because Kaido, one of the four emperor's beasts, is in the form of fish, fish, phantom beast, and green dragon. After eating it, it can be transformed into a green dragon, so that the eater has the powerful superpower of green dragon. Now he has drawn fish fish fruit, ancient species, megalodon form. Have to say, luck is still very good. More importantly, the products produced by the system must be high quality products without any side effects. Wait a minute, isn't Hoshigaki Kisami's character summoning card a perfect match for the fish, fish, ancient species, and megalodon form? Suddenly, Luo Lei seemed to think of something, and a look of consternation appeared on his cheek. As we all know, Hoshigaki Kisame has a shark-like face, gills on both shoulders, and looks just like a human-shaped shark. If you eat fish and fish fruits, ancient species, and megalodon form, then it is not 1 plus 1 equals 2, but 1 plus 1 equals 3, and the strength and ability will achieve a transformation. After all, a megalodon who is good at water style, when you think about it, it's all tingling. And once he eats the devil fruit in the form of Yuyu fruit, ancient species, and megalodon, Hoshigaki Kisami's physical fitness will definitely undergo a transformation, which can be said to be completely complementary. System, what is the loyalty of the characters summoned through the character summoning card? Before long, only Luo Lei asked curiously. Host, you don't need to worry, the characters summoned through the character summoning card are all 100% loyal. The cold voice of the system machine came out. Okay, call Hoshigaki Kisame. Luo Lei's eyes were fixed, the corners of his mouth were slightly raised, and he ordered without hesitation. Now he has the template of Senju Tobarama. It is no longer necessary to merge the Hoshigaki Kisame character summoning card into a template, and it is more in line with his interests to summon it. Besides, now he is the only one in the West BLUET3 branch, Hoshigaki Kisame was summoned, and he finally had a qualified subordinate. Laugh, accompanied by a sound of spatial fluctuations. I saw a man with a shark-like face, long dark blue hair, and Samahata on his back, appeared on the training ground. Grown-ups, after Hoshigaki Kisame appeared, he twisted his shoulders slightly, and after scanning around, he turned his golden pupils to Luo Lei and said respectfully. No doubt, under the intervention of the system, Hoshigaki Kisame has his own independent thought, ability and strength remain unchanged, but, memory is affected, Luo Lei becomes Hoshigaki Kisame's boss invisibly. Um, looking at Hoshigaki Kisame, who is wearing a black trench coat embroidered with red clouds. 
Luo Lei nodded thoughtfully, and as expected, Hoshigaki Kisame at his peak had defected from Kurigakur and joined the Akatsuki organization. System, extract devil fruit fish fish fruit a ancient species a megalodon form. Now that Hoshigaki Kisame was summoned, Luo Lei thought for a moment and then ordered again. Boom. After a few seconds, with a broken voice, a pineapple-like thing covered with spiral patterns appeared out of thin air in Luo Lei's hands. As this devil fruit, looking at the fruit-like things covered with spiral patterns in his hands, Luo Lei said to Hoshigaki Kisame with a half-smile, Do you want to eat this? This is, Hoshigaki Kisame frowned, a little confused. After being summoned, he is still in a dazed state until now, only knowing that this man with a pair of white eyes in front of him is his boss. This is devil fruit. Hearing this, Luo Lei explained slowly, it is called the secret treasure of the sea, and the market price is at least 100 million baileys. After eating it, you will get different abilities, but as a price, those who eat it will be rejected by the sea and become landlubbers. Now this one in my hand is a fish fish fruit, ancient species, megalodon form with no side effects. Eat, the voice did not fall. Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, revealing his sharp fangs, since there are no side effects, it is still the devil fruit in the form of a fish, an ancient species, and a megalodon, which is just right for me. Joke, as a mature ninja, Hoshigaki Kisame is not an indecisive master. Besides, the fish fish fruit ancient species megalodon form is obviously very suitable for him, and it can also enhance his strength, why not eat it? Take it, eat it while it's hot. After hearing this, Luo Lei threw the devil fruit in his hand to Hoshigaki Kisame. It is good, Hoshigaki Kisame took the devil fruit, and without any hesitation, he devoured it and took a bite. This, the next moment, without any sign, Hoshigaki Kisame's golden pupils shrank sharply. I just feel that eating devil fruit in the mouth is extremely astringent, just as uncomfortable as eating shit. Even if he has a strong tolerance, some can't bear it. It's really unpalatable. But, Hoshigaki Kisame is also a face-saving person and a very serious ninja. After all, serious ninja, who the hell is going to follow the steps to the death? Besides, if you pretend to be compulsive, you have to pretend to be tearful. Especially in the face of the boss Luo Lei, he didn't want to show his embarrassing side, he had to show it well. So, in this situation, Hoshigaki Kisame suppressed the nausea in his heart. He ate the devil fruit in his hand one by one abruptly. As expected of a ninja, Hoshigaki Kisame. See this scene. Luo Lei couldn't help but sighed. What else can I say? As a ninja, Hoshigaki Kisame is undoubtedly very qualified. It is said that devil fruit is the most unpalatable thing in the world. As a result, Hoshigaki Kisame ate it bit by bit without changing his face. Actually, one bite seems to be enough. After Hoshigaki Kisame finished eating, Luo Lei thought about it for a while before reminding him coldly. Ah, after hearing this, Hoshigaki Kisame, who has just swallowed the last sip. I couldn't bear it any longer. I broke the defense all of a sudden, and glanced at my boss Luo Lei sadly. Certainly, just when Hoshigaki Kisame was about to say something. Hum, his body froze, a violent aura suddenly erupted. Then, under the gaze of Luo Lei, Hoshigaki Kisame seemed to have transformed into an ancient creature, the lines on his cheeks gradually became deeper, the fangs in his mouth became sharper, and his golden eyes were even more shining. Bursts of cold light. And this is just the beginning. Soon, without using the sword Samahata, Hoshigaki Kisame gradually turned into a half merman. Crack, crack, maybe it's because the pressure is too terrifying. The air began to show wisps of cracks visible to the naked eye. One second, ten seconds, five minutes. Finally, after ten minutes, the changes in Hoshigaki Kisame's body gradually subsided. Looking around, Hoshigaki Kisame has no changes on the surface, with dark blue long hair and a face that looks more and more like a shark. But, Luo Lei knows that after eating the fish fish fruit, ancient species, and megalodon form without side effects, Hoshigaki Kisame's strength has achieved a transformation, and his physical fitness has also undergone a qualitative leap. My strength has become stronger again. Purely using my body, I can destroy cage-level powerhouses with the sword Samahata. At this time, sensing your own transformed body. Hoshigaki Kisame looked terrified, and he still hasn't recovered. That's right, 
He knew that the fish fish fruit ancient species Megalodon form was a good thing, but he didn't expect that the increase in his strength would be so terrifying. Without any exaggeration, his physical fitness has reached an ultimate. The fish fish fruit ancient species Megalodon form endows him with extraordinary physical strength, stamina, anti-strike ability, and recovery ability. Especially in the human shark state, his physical fitness in all aspects such as attack power, strength, agility, speed, etc. has been improved in all directions. If it is in the sea, with ninjutsu, he is even more clueless. Why? Why? Perhaps sensing the transformation of Hoshigaki Kisame, the bandage-wrapped Samahata twisted a few times and touched Hoshigaki Kisame very intimately. Samahata, are you happy for me too? Shu, glancing at Samahata on the back. Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, stretched out his hand and grabbed Samahata, and waved it very easily. Swipe. The next moment, there were visible cracks in the air. In front of, Luo Lei's expression didn't change. He stared at Hoshigaki Kisame thoughtfully. Especially when he saw the special energy of Devil Fruit Fish Fish Fruita Ancient Species a Megalodon Shark constantly merging with Chakra, Luo Lei couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Fortunately, there is no adverse effect. Otherwise, Hoshigaki Kisame is afraid that it will be abolished. Now, after eating fish and fish fruits, ancient species, megalodon form. Hoshigaki Kisame has already had a molt, and I'm afraid Hoshigaki Kisame will become even more terrifying and terrifying if he learns about conqueror's hockey. Boo, boo, in vain, just when Luo Lei was still thinking. The phone bug, which had been silent all along, rang without warning. Um. Hear the sound of the phone bug. Luo Lei frowned, took out the phone bug, and said, This is West Blue's Marinette 3 branch, I'm the branch manager, Luo Lei. Luo Lei Commodore, where are you now? The voice did not fall. On the other end of the phone bug. Then came a very urgent voice. Garp Vice Admiral, I'm at the base of West Blue's Marine T3 branch. Luo Lei said with a puzzled expression upon hearing this familiar voice. Although he has been away from naval headquarters for three years. But, he still has some impressions of the voice of marine hero, Garp. To know, after graduating from the recruiting camp with full marks, was he specially praised by Garp? The marine chief instructor Zephyr has an accident. The accident happened in West Blue, close to the waters where the West Blue Marine T3 branch is located, so you should hurry and try to delay the time. On the other end of the phone bug. Garp added in a dignified tone, to force Zephyr to seek help from naval headquarters, the opponent's strength should be very strong, you should pay attention to safety, if you really can't. Words did not speak, but, Luo Lei understood in seconds. Don't worry, it's fine. The next moment, Luo Lei took a deep breath and said coldly, in West Blue, if you dare to attack Mr. Zephyr, I will let that guy know how to write dead words. Actually, Luo Lei has always been grateful to teacher Zephyr. After joining Marine, it was Zephyr who taught him step by step and guided him. It is said that after he was demoted to the West Blue Marine T3 branch, Zephyr also had an unpleasant relationship with the Marine executives and made a lot of noise. Now Zephyr is attacked. In terms of love and reason, Luo Lei will take action. As for revealing his strength, it's no big deal. I used to be incapable of strength, and I was forced to grow up in a wretched manner in West Blue. Now I have strength and I have Hoshigaki Kisame as my subordinate. What did you say? On the other end of the phone bug. Garp was obviously surprised, and made an incredible sound. To put it bluntly, he just routinely informed Luo Lei. After all, as the head of the West Blue Marine T3 branch, he was close to where Zephyr was attacked. If he could get there, it would still be useful. The result is good, this Luo Lei Commodore wants to let the mysterious pirate who attacked Zephyr know how the word, dead, is written. This Nima is a bit of a pain in the ass. Are today's young people so violent? Don't worry, Garp Vice Admiral. At this time, Luo Lei didn't think too much. After saying this, then he hung up the phone worm neatly. In fact, after hearing that Mr. Zephyr was attacked, he thought of who the attacker was. If he remembered correctly, it should be Whitebeard too, which is Edward Wabel. In the original, Zephyr was attacked and chopped off by a mysterious pirate when he was 65 years old. Only Zephyr and two of his minions survived, and the rest of the students died. And this mysterious pirate, joined Shichibukai two years after Summit War ended. 
Unable to accept this fact, Zephyr left Marine with his two surviving men and established a new Marine, or Neo Marine, which became even more extreme than Akainu. At this point in time, only three people joined Shichibukai Luo, Buggy, and Whitebeard II. Luo was only 17 years old nine years ago, no matter whether it is strength or fame, it is impossible for him to be the one who cut off Admiral's hand. Buggy can simply ignore it, and the only one left is Whitebeard II. He claims to have the strength of Whitebeard when he was young, and it is not impossible to cut off a hand from a Marine ex-admiral who is no longer in his prime. HMPH, Whitebeard II, it's your bad luck. The next moment, Luo Lei commanded neatly without any hesitation, Hoshigaki Kisame, let's go. Okay, boss, Hoshigaki Kisame clenched Samahata tightly, smiled coldly, and said, it just so happens that I also want to fight well, I hope you won't let me down. At the same moment, naval headquarters, after learning that Zephyr's marine warship was attacked by mysterious pirates, there was some shock and disbelief in the entire marine executives. No one would have thought that in the fish pond in West Blue, someone would dare to attack marine's predecessor, Admiral Black Arm Zephyr. This is undoubtedly incredible. After all, Zephyr is a former marine admiral anyway. Now that he is old and weak, he has retired to the second line of marine, and his ability is not as good as before, but, his status is still there, and his strength is still somewhat. Besides, there are marine soldiers from the recruit battalion on the marine warship. These are all hopes for marine's future, and they cannot be ignored by the top management of marine. At this time, at the highest level of the headquarters, in a top-level conference room, Marshal Marine, Sengoku, Staff Officer Crane, Garp, Aokiji, Kazaru, Akainu, etc. Marine executives all gathered together, looking extremely solemn and ugly. Joke, Marine's total instructor Zephyr, the attack at West Blue with students from recruit camp certainly slapped Marine in the face. More importantly, Zephyr is also a former Marine Admiral. Now he was attacked, and he couldn't resist it. He was forced to ask for help. How powerful would the enemy be? Even Mr. Zephyr can't deal with that. How terrible is that mysterious pirate? A strange color appeared on Kazaru's wretched cheeks. These pirates don't care about Marine at all. If you dare to take action against Marine's top management, you must be prepared to bear Marine's wrath. A wave of heat poured out of Akainu's body, and there was a cold murderous intent in his tone, which made the temperature of the entire room rise a few degrees. HMPH, no matter who it is, there is a price to pay. Aokiji put his hands on the table and snorted coldly. After his face changed several times, he turned his eyes to Sengoku and said, I want to go to West Blue to help teacher Zephyr. Let me go. Kazaru hesitated for a moment before shaking his head helplessly. Although he was reluctant, he still said in an unmistakable tone, I will get to West Blue as quickly as possible. Actually, as Marine's three admirals, Aokiji, Kazaru, and Akainu were all students of Zephyr. Although Kazaru and Akainu drifted apart from Zephyr because of their different beliefs in justice and pursuits, but, no matter what, Zephyr is their teacher, and it is reasonable to help them. Can, after hearing this, Sengoku turned to Kazaru with a serious face and said, you set off immediately and go to West Blue to help Zephyr. Understood, Kazaru stood up neatly and left the conference room. By the way, Garp, will you notify Marine at West Blue of your order? After Kazaru left, Sengoku turned his eyes and looked at Garp, who was not eating snacks and sleeping, and his face was also serious. From naval headquarters to West Blue, even if Kazaru rushes at the fastest speed, it will take some time, so before Kazaru arrives, West Blue's Marine has to take on the heavy responsibility of dragging the mysterious pirate. I told you half an hour ago, Garp said in a deep voice to Sengoku, if you guessed correctly, the Marine branches of West Blue have already set off. When it comes to this, Garp frowned and added, Luo Lei Commodore of the West Blue T3 branch is the closest. He said that he would make that mysterious pirate die ugly. Luo Lei from West Blue's T3 branch. After hearing this, Sengoku, Staff Crane, Aokiji, and Akainu all froze for a while. Somehow, they vaguely thought of the white-eyed genius Marine who graduated from the recruit camp with full marks three years ago. At first, to quell the wrath of the Celestial Dragons, Naval Headquarters hesitated for a while, and then transferred Luo Lei to West Blue as the head of the West Blue T3 branch. 
It's a pity, but, a genius who hasn't fully grown, is not worthy of Marine disobeying the will and orders of the celestial dragons. In, Sengoku's feelings are the deepest. Because, after Luo Lei was hidden in the snow, Zephyr often came to his office to make a scene. Stop being funny. A few seconds later, Akainu folded his arms and said with a gloomy expression, although the recruit named Luo Lei is special compared to Wanokuni's ninjas, but, that's all. In three years, he is not a demon fruit power, so no matter how talented he is, he cannot grow to the point where he can match or even surpass teacher Zephyr. Yes, I just hope he can persevere a little bit. Aokiji took the teacup, took a sip of hot tea, and said slowly, being able to call teacher Zephyr for help, the strength of that mysterious pirate must not be underestimated. Maybe, Garp grinned, shrugged, and said, I don't really have any hope. Just hope nothing happens to Zephyr. At this time, Staff Officer He, who had never spoken, had a hint of helplessness flashing in his deep eyes, and muttered to himself, our group of old buddies, but one less person died. Ah, ah, the voice did not fall. The expressions of Sengoku and Garp suddenly froze, and they opened their mouths to say something, but nothing came out. Invisible, the atmosphere in midair became a little more subtle. At the same time, West blew, over the endless sea. Looking around, a giant megalodon shark hundreds of meters long was on the sea level, like a rocket launch, and a luffy galloped past. Wherever he went, stormy waves were set off, and shock waves visible to the naked eye were rolled up, swept out in all directions, very terrifying. In the face of such a violent Hoshigaki Kisame, the underwater creatures everywhere were trembling with fear. Even the Sea Kings hid far away and did not dare to get close to the scales of Hoshigaki Kisame for fear of touching them. Mr. Zephyr, can you hold on a little longer? At this time, Luo Lei, who was standing on the back of the Megalodon, looked out at the sea in front of him, and a cold chill flashed in his white eyes. Whitebeard too. Edward Wable, is it possible to cut off an arm of Mr. Zephyr in the original book? I'm sorry, but let you be a stepping stone for Hoshigaki Kisame. West blew, on a rough sea, hum, hum, accompanied by two terrifying breath fluctuations. There was a turbulent sea on the sea, and the harsh roaring and vibrating sound was constantly issued. And in the most majestic central area of the waves, a marine's top warship is drifting with the current, shaking violently. On deck, Zephyr was confronting a burly, plump figure with a white beard that curled up like a crescent moon-like white beard. Perhaps the energy of the battle fluctuated too much, causing the sea to set off a wave of terrifying waves. At this time, the battle seems to have been going on for some time now. There are bloodlines everywhere on the warship, many marine soldiers from recruit battalion are lying dead or wounded everywhere. And, Zephyr, the chief instructor, has already fallen into madness, and he is fighting with the fat pirate to his death. Really, smelling the smell of blood in the air, Zephyr seemed to be in madness, roaring angrily, kill my student, no matter who you are, I will kill you. Marine, Marine deserves to be killed in order to get, love, and, compliment, from mom. Hearing this sentence, the burly, fat pirate holding a long stem Naginata sword-like whitebeard in his hand seemed to have something abnormal in his mind, and gave a silly, cold smile. That's right, this is the original whitebeard too, Edward Wable. Don't look at Edward Wable's brain is abnormal, his IQ is not high, and his appearance is rather strange, but, the strength that burst out is incomparably violent, whether it is hockey or strength, it is superior to Zephyr at this stage. Superior. Boom, Zephyr's fists covered armament hockey, like a black hammer, and collided fiercely with Edward Wable's Naginata. A deafening roar resounded, and under the powerful strength of Edward Wable, Zephyr's expression suddenly changed, his fists trembled, and his body was slammed back four or five steps. Maybe it's too powerful. If you look closely, you can also find that there are visible cracks on Zephyr's fists. Mr. Zephyr, how is it possible that Teacher Zephyr, known as the Black Arm, broke the defense with his fist covered by armament hockey? What to do? What do we do now? Quote dot 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 quote. See this scene. At the corner of the deck, some of the remaining Marine soldiers of the recruit battalion looked panicked, but they were scared to the point of ultimate. Especially when I thought of some Marine recruits who died tragically under Edward Wable's knife, these remaining Marine recruits trembled a few times and really wanted to cry. What's more, he was paralyzed on the deck in fright. 
As a recruit of Marine, this is the first time they have faced such a vicious pirate. Even the chief instructor's effort was suppressed, so violent and pervert. How to do? Are we going to shoot? In front of the group of remaining recruits, Anan Bins looked extremely solemn. As the elite recruits of Marine's recruit camp, the two were also Zephyr's beloved disciples. Now I can only watch teacher Zephyr get into a tough fight, and there's nothing I can do. We're no match for that guy. After a few seconds, Bins, dressed as a ninja, held the long sword in his hand incompetently, his legs were weak, and he said in a trembling voice, this guy is too strong, especially his strength, and he is gradually suppressing teacher Zephyr. Ain, with blue hair, clenched his fists, and a pair of beautiful big eyes flashed a trace of grief and bitterness. Too weak, or she and Bins are too weak. Even if she is the Paramesha regressive fruit ability, Bins is the Paramesha lush fruit ability. In the face of absolute power, she is useless and can only be crushed by the guy holding the Naginata in front of her. In the field, this guy, Zephyr, who was hit by another knife and stepped back a few steps, had a sense of powerlessness on his cheeks. But, as soon as he saw the students who were killed, lying on the deck covered in blood, his heart was filled with anger again. Boom, 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 a deafening roar continued to sound. Zephyr's fist and Wabel's Naginata collided frantically, and a shock wave of energy erupted that made this sea area tremble. Unfortunately, it looks very shocking. In fact Zephyr has been pinned down, and has been beaten back and forth. At this stage, the old Zephyr can no longer show the momentum of the Marine Admiral Black Arm, which was famous in the sea. Edward Wabel seems to be at his peak, except that he lacks the power of shock fruit, he seems to be a young version of Whitebeard, with armament hockey and physical strength alone, he has exploded with extremely powerful strength. Drink, another roar, Zephyr once again waved his already bloody fist. Click, a golden and iron symphony sounded. Zephyr's fist, covered in blood and armament hockey, was once again broken by Wabel's Naginata, slashing a wound deep into the bone. Ha ha ha, I'm going to cut off your arm. Seeing Zephyr's scarred fist, Edward Wabel laughed stupidly and became even more bloodthirsty. He raised the Naginata that was wrapped around armament hockey, and once again gathered all his strength, offensive was launched. No doubt, it was an all-out hit. Stop talking too much. Seeing this, Zephyr subconsciously wanted to avoid it, but he thought of the student standing in the corner of the deck. Once he was scared to back down, his students would be in danger so he could only grit his teeth and drive armament hockey to ultimate, trying to resist the blow with blood Linlin's fist. However, during the fierce confrontation, in the turbulent sea, without any warning, four water megalodon sharks with a length of more than 10 meters flew out and bombarded Edward Wabel's legs at a lightning speed. Swish, swish, four piercing sounds resounded, and four water megalodon sharks more than 10 meters long roared out and bombarded Edward Wabel's legs. Compared with the obese upper body, Wabel's legs are very thin and thin, looking very abstract and strange, and at a glance, he knows that it is his weakness and weakness. What is this? Wabel, who was originally fighting, saw four water megalodon sharks, cut through the air, and stormed towards his legs. Without hesitation, Wabel smiled foolishly, turned his hands, waved the Naginata in his hand, and shot a dazzling sword energy. Boom, boom, the next moment. Four explosions sounded in succession. Four water megalodon sharks were blown up in midair and turned into countless water droplets. Pity, just as Wabel wanted to continue his attack. The countless water droplets gradually evolved into thousands of small megalodon water bombs, which fell like raindrops and attacked Wabel on the deck. Confused, very confused, seeing this scene, Wabel, who had a low IQ in the first place, was stunned. He couldn't figure it out a little. It was obvious that the four water megalodon sharks had been blasted into water droplets, so why did they become thousands of small megalodon water bombs? Bang, bang, bang. It is this hesitation. Thousands of small megalodon water bombs bombarded Wabel like a gust of wind and rain, and there were crisp collision sounds. Perhaps the power was too great, and the entire warship was almost directly blown up. Ah, seeing Wabel being attacked, Zephyr took a few steps back in confusion. Up to now, he didn't even figure out who did it, or it was such a strange attack method, using seawater to condense into four sharks, and they would split when attacked. It was terrifying. What kind of attack is this? 
It doesn't seem to be the ability of demon fruit power. Wait a minute, this breath, so, so familiar. Next moment. Observation hockey seems to sense something. Zephyr's expression changed slightly, and an unbelievable look flashed in his eyes. Attack Zephyr teacher, who gave you the courage? At the same moment, Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame, before the people arrived, their voices already overwhelmed the wind and waves on the sea, roared and exploded like thunder, which made people feel shocked and could not calm down for a long time. And look around, in the distance where the sea meets the sky. Luo Lei stepped on the hundreds meter long giant megalodon shark incarnated by Hoshigaki Kisame at an extremely fast speed and moved forward. This, this is, hearing this familiar voice, Zephyr's body suddenly froze, showing a stunned look. Did you make a mistake? It's actually him, it's actually him. Unbelievable, it's really unbelievable. To put it badly, Zephyr thought about many possibilities, but he didn't expect Luo Lei to be the first to arrive on the battlefield. Three years ago, Luo Lei was in recruit camp and spent half a year graduating as no. 1. He is a rising star in Marine with a promising future, especially his pioneering ninjutsu, even Zephyr. There are some surprises. Ninja. He had seen it in Wanokuni. Not worth mentioning. But I have never seen a ninja like Luo Lei, especially those white eyes, who were born to learn physical skills. Pity. Man is not as good as God. Dog Day's celestial dragons ruined a genius abruptly. In the past three years, Zephyr doesn't know how many times he has quarreled with Sengoku, but Sengoku just doesn't let go, and puts the interests of celestial dragons first, and refuses to transfer Luo Lei back to naval headquarters. In this regard, Zephyr, in addition to being tired, is full of disappointment with marine executives. It is precisely because of this reason that for three years, he has not dared to meet Luo Lei at the West Blue T3 branch. He is afraid of seeing Luo Lei's disappointed eyes. After all, as a teacher, he can't even keep his favorite students. What do you think? All are utter failure and incompetence. It's good now. He doesn't go to West Blue to see Luo Lei. On the contrary, Luo Lei broke through the waves to save him, and the roles seem to be reversed. Judging from the battle just now, Luo Lei's strength seems to have undergone a rapid transformation. This, what is this? Could it be? Could it be reinforcements? It's great. It's really great. We're saved. Quote dot 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 quote. At this time, not only Zephyr, but even the remaining Marine soldiers of Recruit Battalion in the corner of the deck showed a look of anticipation and surprise. Especially seeing Luo Lei in Marine uniform, stepping on a giant megalodon shark hundreds of meters long, like a savior, these remaining marine soldiers of the recruit battalion were shocked. After all, can you imagine a person stepping on a megalodon, riding the wind and waves? Come, reinforcements are here, it seems to be the teacher's student. Judging from the uniform, it looks like a commodore from West Blue, can he beat this vicious pirate in front of him? In front of, after the initial surprise, Ain and Bins quickly calmed down, and their expressions were a bit bitter. If I read it correctly, the reinforcements in front of me seem to be wearing Commodore's righteous cloak, which makes Nima somewhat chill. After all, even Teacher Zephyr was suppressed by the pirate in front of him. What's the use of a West Blue Commodore to back it up? Do you deliver food, Mr. Zephyr, long time no see? For a few seconds, with a crisp sound, Luo Lei's body flickered a few times, then stood on the deck of the warship, and looked at Zephyr who was gasping for breath. I haven't seen you for three years. Teacher Zephyr seems to be older. No wonder it was severely suppressed by Edward Wabel. You. Dot you shouldn't have come. After hearing this. Zephyr's expression was somewhat complicated, three parts surprise, four parts helplessness, two parts guilt, and one part resolute. Luo Lei can come. It made him very happy. But, the pirate facing him now is too powerful, even he is a little powerless. Therefore, he must not let what happened three years ago repeat itself again. Next, he will fight with all his strength, even if it is death, he will do whatever he can to protect his students. Let me come, seems to see what Zephyr thinks. Luo Lei turned his eyes and looked at Edward Wabel, and said in a low voice, this idiot should be treated as a gift from me to teacher Zephyr. And on the other side, Roar, after being bombarded by thousands of small megalodon water bombs. Edward Wabel roared, 
his mind moved, and his whole body was wrapped in armament hockey, and he forcibly defended this wave of violent attacks. Has Marine's reinforcements come? The next moment, Edward Wabel wiped his snot, with an angry expression on his face, although he didn't know what was going on with the weird attack just now, but, whoever dares to stop him. Go to hell. At this time, both IQ and EQ were negative. The foolish Edward Wabel stared at Luo Lei. After a roar, he waved the Naginata in his hand and slashed towards Luo Lei without any hesitation. Be careful. Zephyr looked startled. Armament hockey burst out, and he wanted to block it. Boom. Sudden. A sound of breaking water sounded. Under the sea, Hoshigaki Kisame returned to his human form, holding Samahata, his body flashed, and he directly met him with a knife. Clang. In an instant, a metal collision sounded, Samahata and Naginata collided violently, and a terrifying collision shock wave erupted. Although not learning conqueror's hockey. But, Hoshigaki Kisame, one of the seven ninja swordsmen, cooperates with Chakra, and his own swordsmanship is very strong. After eating the devil fruit in the form of Yuyu fruit, ancient species, and megalodon, his physical fitness and the power has made a leap forward. So, after the front was hard on Edward Wabel, it was abruptly knocked back five or six steps. Cool. After defeating Edward Wabel, Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, with a look of extreme excitement on his shark-like face. How is it possible that the pirate was repelled? Seeing this, Zephyr looked a little sluggish, as if he didn't react. He had played against Wabel, and he knew very well how tyrannical Wabel's physical fitness was and how terrifying his strength was. Except for the absence of shock fruit, similar to Whitebeard when he was young. The results of it, but was repelled by someone who didn't even use armament hockey. Repulsed, that pirate was abruptly suppressed. This, is this also reinforcements? Marine doesn't seem to have such a number one, right? It seems, it seems to be saved. Quote dot 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 quote. At this time, not only Zephyr, but even Marine recruits such as Ain and Bins on the deck were a little confused. From Luo Lei's appearance to Hoshigaki Kisame breaking out of the water and knocking Wabel back with a single blow, it took less than 10 seconds for them to react. Mr. Zephyr, go and see those students, leave this guy to Hoshigaki Kisame. Looking at Wabel who was repelled, Luo Lei nodded without any surprise, and spoke to Zephyr next to him. It is good, although there is still infinite anger towards Wabel in his heart, but Zephyr still knows the priorities of the matter. He took a deep look at Luo Lei, then Hoshigaki Kisame, and backed away without hesitation. After all, he's not a fool or a fool. In three years, this proud student of his seems to have undergone an unknown transformation, and under the perception of observation hockey, this guy named Hoshigaki Kisame seems to have chakra energy that belongs to ninjas in his body. Are you a ninja again? A doubtful thought flashed through Zephyr's mind. But, he quickly forgot about it. Now is not the time to think so much. He still has to check the marine recruits in the recruit camp. How about the casualties? At the same moment, Weibel, who was repelled, looked at Hoshigaki Kisame who suddenly appeared, and was obviously a little confused. In the battle of power, he actually lost, which was something he had never encountered before. You, do you want to die? Wait for me to kill you. Soon, after recovering, Weibel's stupid cheeks showed uncontrollable anger, and he clenched the Naginata in his hand again, and with a move, armament hockey wrapped around the blade and slashed towards Hoshigaki Kisame without hesitation. Humph. Samahata A slash, Hoshigaki Kisame snorted coldly, with a cold face, strands of chakra wrapped around Samahata, revealing the spiked piercing bandages on Samahata, and slashed head on. Nimas, still want to torture me? What are you? If it doesn't sound good, even if he didn't eat the devil fruit in the form of the fish, the ancient species, and the megalodon, he was not in vain for the guy in front of him. What's more, he ate devil fruit in the form of fish and fish, ancient species, and megalodon. Certainly, Hoshigaki Kisame actually has an idea in his heart. When facing ninjas, as long as he holds Samahata, he can basically be invincible. The reason is very simple. When Samahata is very close to or in contact with the enemy's body, weapon, and entity chakra, it can devour the chakra of the opponent's ninja. Even the chakra of the tailed beast is not enough to feed the hungry Samahata. Now that we are in this so-called pirate world, 
without chakra, we can only see if Samahata can adapt to local conditions and absorb armament hockey. Wouldn't it be nice if armament hockey could be absorbed? Thinking of this, Hoshigaki Kisame got a little excited. Originally, I was thinking of taking the time to learn Conqueror's hockey, but if Samahata can absorb armament hockey, wouldn't he be able to adapt and learn in advance? Boom. After a few seconds, another crashing sound resounded. The air burst in an instant, and an extremely terrifying energy shock wave erupted. Even though the very thick armament hockey was attached to the Naginata, it still trembled heavily when it collided with Samahata, which was covered by chakra. Okay, so scary. Facing this heart-pounding confrontation, the marine soldiers of the recruit battalion were trembling with fear. Too strong. Just look at it. It made them shiver a little. Wait a minute, something is wrong, Hoshigaki Kisami's weapon seems to be alive. Sudden, just at this time, Zephyr, who had retreated to the edge of the deck, observation hockey seemed to have sensed something, and his eyes widened, revealing a ghostly look. Because, just at that moment, Hoshigaki Kisami's weapon, the blade covered with barbs, trembled slightly, showing his fangs, inadvertently absorbing some armament hockey. Weapon, alive, absorbing armament hockey. After careful perception again, Zephyr was a little dumbfounded, and countless question marks appeared on his head. What weapon is this? Armament hockey can't even be absorbed by the famous Twelve Swordsmen. Besides, there is still life breath, can the sword be summoning? Thinking of this, Zephyr's eyes involuntarily turned to Luo Lei. I don't know, I was shocked when I saw it, what kind of monster was this proud student of my own brought? It seems to have eaten the top zone devil fruit and also has a weapon that can absorb armament hockey, and is also a ninja. Interesting, really interesting. Beside, Luo Lei's eyes flashed with surprise. He knew that Samahata could absorb the opponent's chakra and inject the absorbed chakra into the user's body, but he didn't expect that Samahata is really not picky eater. Can you still connect seamlessly and absorb armament hockey? Think carefully, is this Nima a little scary? To put it mildly, in the Hokage world, if Hoshigaki Kisame hadn't encountered an alien-like might guy, he wouldn't necessarily be defeated. Now Samahata has switched to armament hockey, which makes the scalp tingle just thinking about it. At the same time, my armament hockey is decreasing. Weibel, who was fighting against Hoshigaki Kisame, also seemed to have noticed something. He subconsciously took a few steps back, and quickly distanced himself from Hoshigaki Kisame. There was also a look of doubt on his ugly cheeks. Obviously, he couldn't figure out why. The weapon actually bared its fangs absorbing his armament hockey. But, intellectual disability is intellectual disability. Since he couldn't figure it out, Weibel didn't bother to think about it either. Roar. After a roar, Weibel's imposing coercion once again rose to a new level. With a move, armament hockey continued to wrap around the Naginata and launched an attack again. Laugh. In the next instant, the Naginata burst out with a majestic and fierce aura, carrying a monstrous sword energy, and attacked Hoshigaki Kisame critically. Good come. Feeling the excited Samahata, the corners of Hoshigaki Kisame's mouth twitched slightly, and he was no longer in a hurry. He also urged Chakra to wrap around Samahata and waved suddenly. Clang. Naginata and Samahata collided once again, making a roaring sound that shook the sky, and a terrifying energy shock wave erupted. Crack, crack, perhaps the energy shock wave of the collision was too violent, and the seawater became more and more turbulent. As a result, the marine warship, which was already crumbling, suddenly appeared cracks visible to the naked eye, spreading in all directions on the deck. Not good, the warship is sinking, let's evacuate first and go to the lifeboat. Quote dot 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 quote. See this scene. The remaining marine recruits in the corner of the deck looked at Zephyr in panic, and looked at Zephyr. What else can I say? The situation has now reversed. But, on the vast sea, if you don't get on the lifeboat, wait, the warship sank, these marine recruits are afraid they are not going to feed the sea kings, right? This, hearing these words, just as Zephyr frowned and wanted to say something, Luo Lei, who had not made any movement, had the chakra on his body surging, and his hands quickly formed seals. Water style A4 poster boat. Bang, bang. Accompanied by a crisp sound. Under the jaw dropping gazes of the remaining marine recruits. Countless currents emerged from the deck and wrapped around the marine warship, 
directly reinforcing the crumbling marine warship, and the visible cracks stopped spreading. What? How is this possible? The hands seemed to have a seal. The marine warship was reinforced by the water flow that appeared out of thin air. Quote dot 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 quote. The remaining marine recruits watched all this helplessly, and they all showed expressions of horror, even Zephyr was a little surprised. This, what means is this? Did you eat devil fruit? But, isn't right, no breath of demon fruit power. Hoshigaki Kisame, stop playing. At this time, Luo Lei didn't care so much. He folded his arms and said softly, quickly fight and suppress that fool as soon as possible. All right, after fusing second Hokage Senju Tobarama's character template to 50%, he still knows some basic water style ninjutsu, such as this water style four pillar boat, which he evolved from wood style four pillar house. Hum, um, first Hokage Senju Hashirama used wood style to conquer the world, Yamato used wood style for greenery, and he used the basic water style to reinforce the warship, right? It is good. The voice did not fall. Hoshigaki Kisami's shark cheek flashed a playful look. Immediately afterwards, under Weibel's disbelieving gaze, above Hoshigaki Kisami's samahata, wisps of armament hockey shone with metallic luster. No doubt, this is Weibel's armament hockey. This, this is my armament hockey. Weibel saw this his eyes widened, and he was completely stunned. With his IQ, he really couldn't understand why this armed color Samahata slash. A few seconds later, Hoshigaki Kisami's face was cold, and he showed a domineering aura, and he waved the Samahata wrapped around armament hockey again. Laugh. A terrifying cracking sound resounded. Above Samahata, there was an astonishing fierceness, causing cracks visible to the naked eye to appear in the air. Obviously, with the dual blessing of armament hockey and chakra, Kisame also had a quality improvement. Go to hell, although Weibel felt threatened. But, he was not in the right mind, he didn't take it to heart. Instead, he waved his Naginata madly and greeted him again. Rumbling, another roar resounded. Naginata and Samahata collided suddenly, and a more violent energy shock wave erupted. Immediately afterwards, in front of everyone's eyes, it seemed that Samahata's power was too powerful, and after only a few seconds of stalemate, there were cracks on the Naginata. Crack, crack, this is the sound of a crack in the Naginata. Not good. Seeing the crack in his Naginata, Weibel finally reacted and wanted to retreat as quickly as possible. However, it's too late. Almost as soon as he retreated, the Naginata shattered, and Kisame, carrying an incomparably terrifying sternness, slammed into Weibel's left arm abruptly. Boom! With one blow, Weibel's left arm, which was wrapped by armament hockey, was directly ripped open, blood rushing. Perhaps it was because the power was too tyrannical, Weibel's body was forcibly blasted out, and fell on the sea surface a hundred meters away, directly smashing the rough sea into a terrifying deep pit. The sea, in an instant, the world turned upside down. The sea, in an instant, the world turned upside down. Boom. The sea is roaring, the sea is roaring wildly. From the battle between Hoshigaki Kisame and Weibel, to the time Weibel was bombarded, it took only a few minutes, but the situation had undergone an earth-shaking reversal. Gollum. Gollum. On the deck, the remaining marine recruits headed by Ain and Bins couldn't help but swallow their saliva, their eyes filled with shock. There is no harm without comparison. Even a pirate who is helpless to teacher Zephyr, is madly suppressed and madly beaten by that shark-faced man. It is unbelievable. But, is the teacher too weak? In the past, in the eyes of these marine recruits, Mr. Zephyr was a godlike being, omnipotent. Now, they finally know what it is. Amazing. I'm really getting old and can't keep up with the times. Zephyr sighed and asked subconsciously, Luo Lei, is this your subordinate? Yes. Hoshigaki Kisame is my recruit. Luo Lei nodded slightly and added, he is also an extremely powerful ninja. A ninja, Zephyr smiled and said, teacher went to Wanokuni when he was young, but, the ninjas in Wanokuni, compared to you, are trash. Ha ha, Luo Lei shrugged indisputably, a look of disdain flashed in his white eyes, and said, Wanokuni's ninjas are trash, not worth mentioning. Ah, Zephyr smiled dumbly, and said with a serious sense, Fortunately you came in time, otherwise. As soon as he said this, Zephyr was already a little depressed, and it became even more depressed. What else can I say? 
As a teacher, I brought students out in person, but failed to protect the students. After all, he is too incompetent, too weak. Ninja. When did ninjas become so powerful? After hearing the conversation between Luole and Mr. Zephyr, the remaining Marine recruits headed by Ain all showed incredible expressions involuntarily. Ninja. Rarely seen at sea. These Marine recruits have never seen any ninjas. It's good now. I saw two ninjas at once. And this. Among them, Bins, who is dressed as a ninja, is the most excited. Although he is the ability person of Paramesha Lush Fruit, but, does not hinder his dream of becoming a powerful ninja. At the same time, ah, ah, Wable, who was bombarded and flew into the sea, screamed wildly on the sea. The wound on his left arm was bleeding, and it was constantly diluted by the sea water. If his left arm was not wrapped by armament hockey just now, the blow from Hoshigaki Kisame just now was probably not going to blow his left arm abruptly. Mommy mommy. Okay. Well, it's scary, really scary. In the turbulent waves, Wable yelled with grief on his face. With an abnormal mind, he only had one thought in his heart, and that was to stay away from the wicked man with the shark face. Anyway, since he had memories, he has never been hit so badly or so miserably. So call. In this situation, Wable subconsciously began to swing his arms. In the turbulent waves, like a prodigal dog, stay away from this sea area, away from the terrifying shark-faced villain. Want to run? It's late. Hearing Wable's strange cry, the corners of Hoshigaki Kisami's mouth twitched slightly, revealing a look of arrogance, pretending to be forced and wanting to run away, how could there be such a good thing? Besides, the sea is his home ground. Isn't it a joke to want to run? Swish. A cracking sound rang out. Hoshigaki Kisame stood on top of a huge wave more than 10 meters high in a flash, with chakra surging all over his body, and his hands quickly knotted, water styly a big shark ball technique. Boom. A violent collision sounded. Under countless gazes, an oversized megalodon water bomb bombarded Wable's body before he could react, and the powerful force directly knocked Wable flying. And this is just the beginning. Water style A big explosive water rush. Water style A thousand food shark. Water style A water prison technique. Facing the flying Wable, Hoshigaki Kisami's hands had already turned into afterimages, constantly knotted, and the chakra all over his body was surging like crazy. Boom. A deafening roar sounded. Wable, who had just been blasted away, was hit by the waves of water violently spurted from his mouth by Hoshigaki Kisame. And at the moment of falling into the sea, the sea water was roaring, and the waves were constantly splashing around, forming thousands of small water megalodon sharks, which surrounded Wable in a swarm. The sharp fangs are constantly biting Wable's body, even if armament hockey is defending, there are some drop in the bucket, especially the injured left arm, which is the focus of the water megalodon. In a matter of seconds, there were dense scars on Wable's body, and his body was already bloody. If it weren't for his physique, he would have been killed by terror. Woo ah ah ah, woo ah ah. In the face of such a terrifying attack, Wable's screams were endless, resounding throughout the sea, he wanted to resist, but there was nothing he could do. Finally, after a few minutes, a spherical cage formed by water flow appeared on the water surface. As for Wable, he was lying in it beyond recognition, with only a faint sound of breathing. Quiet, a dead silence. In the face of Wable, who was defeated in a destructive manner. The remaining Marine recruits on the deck were completely shocked. After a while, he couldn't help but swallowed his saliva, his eyes were full of shock, and there was only one thought in his heart, that is this special ninja. Is this a ninja? So strong. This, what a power. On the sea surface, he performed the magical water-style ninjutsu, combined with the turbulent seawater, and directly suppressed the pirate without any resistance. Nemas, are ninjas so powerful? You must know that in the sea, the famous monster level powerhouses are either great swordsmen, top level demon fruit power, or grandmaster taijutsu and armament hockey. They have never seen such a powerful ninja. In short, ninja, not worth mentioning at sea. Well now, the appearance of Hoshigaki Kisame has completely overturned the inherent perception of these marine recruits. Kisame, well done. At this time, Luo Lei, who had not spoken, stretched and said without any surprise, bring Edward Wable to the deck and let everyone have a good look. Actually, after Hoshigaki Kisame ate the devil fruit in the form of Yuyu fruit, ancient species, Megalodon. 
He is full of confidence in Hoshigaki Kisami's strength. Ninjas are not scary, but they are afraid that ninjas will continue to improve despite their own strength. Okay, boss, hearing this, Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, showing his sharp fangs, and with a wave of his right hand, the spherical cage formed by the current left the sea level and fell onto the deck. Call, and looking at Weibel, who was imprisoned in the water cell and was dying. On the deck, the remaining marine recruits came to their senses only after realizing it. A force comparable to Marine Admiral was born, and Marine is about to change. Among them, this thought flashed through Zephyr's mind subconsciously, and it was difficult for him to calm down for a long time. Joke, that pirate named Weibel, how tyrannical the strength is, Zephyr is very clear. Now Luo Lei's subordinate, Hoshigaki Kisame, has suppressed Weibel with a destructive force, and his strength must be comparable to that of him at his peak. In short, West Blue suddenly has a ninja comparable to Marine's level. Once it spreads, not only Marine himself, but also the new world in the second half of the Grand Line will be turbulent. After half an hour, quick, stop the bleeding first. Too much blood loss, only amputation. Quote dot 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 quote. On deck, the soldiers of the recruit battalion are busy running around. Some of the seriously injured who have not died are undergoing emergency treatment. Compared with the original, this result is undoubtedly much better. In the original novel, in the face of Edward Weibel's attack, Marine recruit from the recruit camp was annihilated except for Ain and Bins, and even Zephyr had his arm cut off, which was a heavy loss. And on the other side of the warship, Zephyr's arm was also bandaged, and he was sitting there with a low expression, with Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame standing beside him. Alas, the teacher is really useless. As a teacher, I brought the students out in person, but failed to protect the students. I do not know how long it has been. Zephyr let out a faint sigh, and said in a low mood, three years ago I couldn't protect you, so you were hidden in the West Blue by the naval headquarters, and now even the students in recruit camp can't protect you, a sea of out of nowhere. Thief, you will defeat the teacher's beating. Mr. Zephyr, that guy is not a nobody. Luo Lei shrugged helplessly, changed the subject and said, his name is Edward Weibel, it should be related to Whitebeard. Whitebeard, after hearing this, Zephyr's expression suddenly became solemn, and said, do you know him? No, Luo Lei nodded with a chuckle, and said, his mother, Miss Ba Jin, was on the same boat with Whitebeard. Is that so? Zephyr sighed thoughtfully. No wonder Weibel and Whitebeard are somewhat similar, except that there is no shock fruit and his brain is abnormal, he is almost a replica of a young Whitebeard. No doubt, Zephyr also played against Whitebeard back then. Knowing how terrifying Whitebeard, one of the four emperors, is. Now this Edward Weibel, judging from the ability and strength of performance, even if it is not of Whitebeard's species, may have been transplanted with Whitebeard's cytokines. HMPH, Miss Bajan is dead. The next moment, as if thinking of something, Zephyr snorted coldly, clenched his fists, and said with murderous intent, although I don't know why, but, if you dare to let your son attack me, then be prepared to take Marine's wrath. Thinking of this, Zephyr took a deep breath and had no more scruples. In front of Luo Lei, he took out the phone bug and dialed Marshal Sengoku. At the same time, Naval Headquarters, Marineford. After dispatching Kazaru, one of the three admirals, Sengoku was a little upset. The current pirates seemed to be more and more unscrupulous. They had already ridden on Marine's head to shit, and even Marine's high-level officials dared to attack at will. Fortunately, Kazaru shot, as long as Zephyr can hold on, the problem can basically be solved. With Zephyr's strength, it should be able to last a little longer. Right in front, Garp slumped on the sofa, clasped his nostrils with his little finger, then went to pick up the senbei, took a sip, and said faintly, Marine's top management has been reduced to being attacked by pirates, really. It's pathetic. Garp, can you please lift the pot without opening it? Before he finished speaking, Sengoku frowned and couldn't help but scolded, dare to take the initiative to attack Marine's senior management, I'm provoking Marine, hitting Marine in the face, and I will make the pirates pay. Oh, Garp shrugged indifferently, and said meaningfully, what price is Marine going to make the pirates pay? I heard that the world government seems to be interested in legalizing some big pirates. Ah, Sengoku's expression froze, and he stopped talking all of a sudden. What can I say? After entering the era of the great pirate, 
The big pirates headed by the four emperors are becoming more and more rampant and invincible, and they have vaguely suppressed Marine's power. As Marine's marshal, he must lead the overall situation, and move the whole body. Before the situation is clear, Marine must not act rashly. As for legitimizing some of the big pirates, it is now only a part of the top executives of the world government secretly agitate. Bolu, Bolu. But, at this awkward time, the golden phone bug on Sengoku's desk suddenly rang. Um, Sengoku picked up the phone in surprise and said, This is Naval Headquarters, I'm Marshal Sengoku. Marshal Sengoku, I'm Zephyr. Zephyr's solemn voice came from the other end of the phone bug. Oh, Zephyr. Sengoku looked surprised and asked subconsciously, Has Kazaru arrived at West Blue? Has that pirate been suppressed? Listening to your voice, it should be fine, right? Please escort him to naval headquarters, I want it. Interrogate him personally. Kazaru hasn't arrived yet. On the other end of the phone, Zephyr didn't beat around the bush, and said neatly, Commodore Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, joined hands with Hoshigaki Kisame to suppress and capture the vicious pirate. What? Hearing this sentence, Sengoku's mind buzzed, and countless question marks appeared, and finally he couldn't help but exclaimed. What? Hearing this sentence, Sengoku's mind buzzed, and countless question marks appeared, and finally he couldn't help but exclaimed. No way, Sengoku never thought of it. Kazaru, one of the three admirals, did not arrive at West Blue. Instead, Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, arrived first, and even suppressed and captured the pirate. This is completely impossible, right? Say something bad. Able to force Zephyr to seek help from naval headquarters, that pirate is definitely not weak. Could it be that Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, was able to suppress the captives? That's right, Luo Lei is indeed a genius, but, after cultivating at West Blue for three years, can he grow to the point where he surpasses the old Zephyr? Is it just nonsense? For a moment, Sengoku frowned, involuntarily have doubts about this matter. Could it be that Zephyr deliberately played a bitter trick to force Marine executives to submit and transfer Luo Lei back to naval headquarters? Marshal Sengoku, I know you may not believe it and doubt this matter, but, that's the truth. As for the specific process of the incident, the camera phone bug on the warship has already recorded it, and I will join the pirates, send them to naval headquarters together. On the other end of the phone bug, Zephyr didn't panic at all, and added in a cold voice, this time, I took the students from recruit camp to West Blue for an internship, and the route of travel was kept secret. Why was pirates attacked when I arrived at West Blue? The marine of the recruit battalion suffered heavy casualties, and naval headquarters must give me a reasonable explanation for this matter. By the way, the pirate who attacked me seems to be related to Whitebeard. His mother, Miss Bajan, was on a boat with Whitebeard. This, hearing the questioning voice of Zephyr on the other end of the phone bug. Sengoku was obviously stunned, and after a moment of hesitation, he said solemnly, as for this matter, Staff Officer Crane is already investigating and will definitely give you a reasonable explanation. Wait a minute, in the next instant, as if he noticed something, Sengoku said in surprise, you mean the mother of the pirate who attacked you is related to Whitebeard, one of the four emperors. All right, when it comes to Whitebeard, then things got a little serious. Um, Zephyr nodded expressionlessly and said, this guy named Edward Wabel is almost identical to Whitebeard when he was young, except that he doesn't have shock fruit. If Luo Lei hadn't arrived in time, maybe I'd already be dead, and Marine's recruits would have been wiped out. When it comes to this, Zephyr's tone was obviously a little lingering. Luo Lei is really that strong. The next moment, there still seemed to be some doubts, and Sengoku couldn't help but make sure. It's more than powerful. Zephyr seemed to have thought of something, and said slightly sarcastically, this time, Luo Lei basically didn't do anything, and it was his subordinate Hoshigaki Kisame who suppressed the pirate. If I'm not wrong, Hoshigaki Kisame's strength is already comparable to that of him. Admiral. By the way, Hoshigaki Kisame is also a ninja, with a bizarre ninjutsu skill. Zephyr, are you joking? Boom, the voice did not fall. Perhaps too unbelievable. Sengoku stood up from his chair at once, a look of surprise on his cheeks. Did you make a mistake? Ninja, comparable to the strength of Marine Admiral. Or the head of the West Blue T3 branch, Luo Lei's subordinate. 
This series of news kept flooding Sengoku's heart, setting off a storm that could not be calmed down at all. He thought of many possibilities. I just didn't expect that this would be the case. If this so-called ninja, Hoshigaki Kisame really has admiral-level strength, doesn't it mean that there is another monster-level combat force standing at the top in this sea? Certainly, Sengoku is martial marine. It can be considered that he has experienced strong winds and waves, and he quickly recovered, took a deep breath, adjusted his mentality, and said, Okay, I understand, I understand. By the way, I'll let Kazaru, one of the three admirals, go directly to the West Blue T3 branch. Okay, Marshal Sengoku, I'll hang up first. Zephyr nodded expressionlessly, and didn't want to say more, so he hung up the phone worm neatly. Boo, boo, hearing the voice of the phone bug hanging up. Sengoku's expression changed for a while. Finally, he couldn't help but let out a sigh, then took a deep breath, his expression suddenly became solemn, garp, things are serious, what happened at West Blue has already happened. Under our control, Luo Lei is very hidden, that pirate named Weibel is also related to Whitebeard, one of the four emperors. When it comes to this, Sengoku also turned around, flipped through the folders in his bookcase, and found Luo Lei's profile at the bottom. He glanced at it briefly, and then shook his head helplessly. Some time ago, when he was bored, he asked staff officer he to collect it, just to see if there was any change after Luo Lei was hidden in West Blue. Now, it seems that this mediocre information is just to hide people's eyes and ears, of. Oh. If everything is true, that, Luo Lei is also hiding too deep in West Blue. If Zephyr hadn't been attacked, he might have continued to hide in West Blue. Thinking of this, Sengoku rubbed his head, his scalp tingling. This, this is too incredible, right? Right in front, Garp was stunned, glanced at the immortal shell in his hand, his expression was a little dignified, and said with hindsight, since Zephyr said this, it may be true, it's just. Is there really a ninja comparable to Marine Admiral? To this, Garp also expressed serious doubts. Ninja. He has actually seen. But, they didn't take it to heart, it's not worth mentioning. Three years ago, Luo Lei developed the so-called ninjutsu, and he only had a slight sense of how terrifying the future generations were. In the end, my good guy, after three years of absence, Luo Lei's subordinates actually had a ninja comparable to everyone in Marine. This was undoubtedly a big king, and he was shocked for a while. Do not know, Sengoku shook his head and said solemnly, no matter what, just wait until Kazaru goes to the West Blue T3 branch to test it out, let's talk about it. As for the relationship between Weibel and Whitebeard, should I have someone check it out too? It is good. Garp nodded, and returned to his condescending appearance, picked up the senbei and ate it deliciously. You, seeing that Garp was like a normal person, Sengoku frowned, and finally sat on the chair, muttering to himself with a serious face, what happened in West Blue, I hope it won't affect the situation in the sea. Originally thought that Zephyr was attacked, it was just a simple matter. Sending a marine admiral will do the trick. Now it seems. Things are getting more complicated. Luo Lei, who has been silent for three years in West Blue, has become a blockbuster even if he doesn't make a sound, showing his muscles, and the sudden appearance of Weibel, this. It really gave Sengoku some headaches, and miserable. Three years ago, in order to give Celestial Dragons an explanation, he personally issued an order to hide the promising new star Luo Lei in West Blue. Anyway, in his opinion, even if Luo Lei is a genius with a bright future, he can't compare with Kamui of Celestial Dragons, there is nothing to regret. It's good now. Three years have passed, and Luo Lei started to slap him in the face. Certainly, could it be possible to slap his face? It's hard to tell now, because Sengoku is still skeptical about what happened. Especially the little-known Hoshigaki Kisame, is it really comparable to Marine Admiral's monster-level combat power? He is extremely skeptical, thinking of this. Sengoku still picked up the phone bug that was on the table. West Blue, on the shimmering sea, a golden light flashed away and landed on a small island. Bolu, Bolu, it's really troublesome. Hearing the sound of the phone bug, Kazaru stood on a rock with a lazy and wretched expression, took out the phone bug in his arms, Mr. Sengoku, don't you know that I'm on my way? If it's late, Mr. Zephyr but it's dangerous. No, on the other end of the phone bug. 
Sengoku took a deep breath and said solemnly, Pelusalino, you don't have to save Zephyr. What? A look of surprise appeared on Kazaru's wretched cheeks, and he said slightly exaggeratedly, did naval headquarters give up Zephyr Sensei? Mr. Sengoku, you can't do this, otherwise, the consequences will be serious. Kazaru, Zephyr has been saved. On the other end of the phone bug. Sengoku was already used to Kazaru's character, and added, the pirate who attacked Zephyr has already been executed. Wow, is that so? Kazaru was obviously stunned and asked, who rescued Mr. Zephyr? It's really scary to be able to defeat the pirates who attacked Mr. Zephyr. Does West Blue's Marine have a hidden monster level combat power? Kazaru is undoubtedly very clear about the strength of Teacher Zephyr. Even though Zephyr is old now, his physical fitness is seriously degraded, but his strength is actually okay. Therefore, Kazaru's first reaction was that West Blue's Marine came out with a monster-level combat power and rescued Teacher Zephyr. As for Naval Headquarters' assistance, no kidding, is he still on the way? Who can be faster than him? It's the head of the West Blue T3 branch, Luo Lei. On the other end of the phone bug, Sengoku hesitated for a while before saying incredulously, according to Zephyr, Luo Lei's subordinate, Hoshigaki Kisame, is a ninja with strength comparable to Marine Admiral. What? What did you say? Kazaru's wretched expression suddenly froze, and he said in surprise, Mr. Sengoku, are you kidding me? Luo Lei's subordinate, Hoshigaki Kisame, has the strength comparable to Marine Admiral, or is he a ninja? Ninjas are like weak chickens in Wanokuni. That's what Zephyr said. On the other end of the phone bug, Sengoku looked extremely serious and said, whether it's true or not, I need you to go to West Blue's T3 branch to see what the truth is. What? The voice did not fall. Kazaru was suddenly reluctant, it's really troublesome, the old man came to West Blue just to save Mr. Zephyr. Now that Mr. Zephyr is out of danger, it's time for me to go on vacation. Things are developing a little out of naval headquarters control, please. Sengoku increased his tone and said, if West Blue really produces a ninja that is comparable to Marine Admiral's combat power, the situation of Marine and even the situation of the sea may be extremely variable. All right. After listening to Sengoku, Kazaru shook his head helplessly. Although he was reluctant, he finally nodded in agreement. He thought he was here to rescue Teacher Zephyr from West Blue, but now that such a change has occurred, even he himself can't believe it. That Luo Lei, he also has some impressions, especially the pair of very conspicuous white eyes, which are even more memorable, and now it seems that three years of snow hiding, not only did not make him disappear, but let Luo Lei be a blockbuster if he doesn't make a sound. Ro, as soon as Sengoku looked relieved, he hung up the phone bug. It's really troublesome. After putting away the phone bug, Kazaru pouted a little lazily and muttered to himself, Mr. Zephyr, you really taught a good apprentice. It's quite hidden, and before you know it, already on the rise at West Blue. Then, let this old man meet the head of the West Blue T3 branch, Luo Lei. Ninja comparable to Marine Admiral, more and more interesting. After a few seconds, Kazaru's wretched tone was deliberately elongated. Then without any sign, the figure suddenly turned into a golden light, left the island in an instant, and flew towards the location of the West Blue T3 branch. At the same time, West Blue, on that Marine's top ship. My former proud disciple, one of the three admirals, Pulsolino, has come to West Blue. Zephyr glanced at the phone bug in his hand, showing a hint of helplessness, and said, he should test you, look at your true strength. Actually, after the initial grief, Zephyr has some vague regrets and bitterness in his heart. His own student, who had been wretchedly developed in West Blue for three years, was exposed because of him. No matter how he thought about it, it was his incompetence as a teacher. Now that everything is exposed, Marine's executives will definitely focus on West Blue, on West Blue's T3 branch, on Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame. See, Luo Lei shrugged indifferently. Zephyr's conversation with Sengoku, he heard it, wasn't a big deal, and it was to be expected that it was exposed to Marine's sight. In fact, even if Zephyr is not in danger, he will find a time to show his strength and show his muscles. It doesn't matter, I happen to be bored too. After a few seconds, a proud look flashed in Luo Lei's white eyes, and he said, I just want to see, how much is my strength compared to Admiral? Um, after hearing this, Zephyr looked a little surprised. 
He glanced at Luo Lei, and then at Hoshigaki Kisame, who had been silent for a while, like an honest man, and was relieved immediately. Porosalino, one of the three admiral, may be very strong. But, through the battle just now, Zephyr also had a clear understanding of Hoshigaki Kisame's strength. As for Luo Lei's strength, he hasn't seen it through for the time being, and it shouldn't be weak anyway. Do not worry, Luo Lei said confidently, I'm still Marine's Commodore. Even if it's a battle, it's just a matter of learning from each other. Certainly, Luo Lei didn't say a word. Now, he just hasn't finished unlocking and merging second Hokage Senju Tobarama's template. Otherwise, just rely on a water style. It can overcome demon fruit power and be invincible on the sea. Fine, Zephyr didn't say anything more, a hint of emotion flashed in his eyes. As Luo Lei said, even if Pelusolino is a temptation, he will not hit hard, and he and Hoshigaki Kisame are still there. It was just that he did not expect that, three years later, Luo Lei, who was only 15 years old, already possessed the courage and self-confidence to compete with Marine Admiral, which seemed like a dream. Mr. Zephyr. Soon, Luo Lei took the initiative to change the subject and said, let's go to the T3 branch first, let's take a break. Ro, glancing at the Marine recruits on the deck who had already healed their wounds, Zephyr forced a deep breath and adjusted his emotions. This time, Marine recruits suffered setbacks, he was also hit, but, all this will not bring him down, all the difficulties and obstacles are just paper tigers, it will only prompt him to move forward without hesitation. Chapter 11 Soon, after Luo Lei and others left, in the distance on the sea, where the sea and the sky meet, a pirate ship faintly appeared. How is it possible, my, my son has been captured? On the deck, with thick red lips, wearing sunglasses, leaning on crutches, Miss Bajan with a short stature and a wrinkled face, looking extremely the sluggishness is like a fool. She never thought, an action full of self-confidence will end in failure. This time, she took on a huge bounty task in the underground dark world, hunting the former Marine Admiral Black Arm Zephyr. The employer will not only pay a huge bounty, but also provide Zephyr's travel route. After hesitating for a moment, she simply answered. On the one hand, he is confident in the strength of his stupid son, and on the other hand, he is unhappy with Marine. He wants to kill Marine's predecessor, Admiral, to play the power of his son, Edward Wabel, and to destroy Marine's momentum by the way. This will also make her famous in the underground dark world and receive more huge bounty quests. It's a pity that the plan couldn't keep up with the changes. Her proud stupid son, Edward Wabel, was actually suppressed and captured, and the huge bounty mission to hunt down the former Marine Admiral Black Arm Zephyr was basically a failure. The support from naval headquarters hasn't arrived yet. When did West Blue's Marine become so powerful? Marine definitely has a conspiracy to hide such a terrifying force in West Blue. Miss Bajan's expression changed, and an old face gradually began to distort. She felt that she was being overshadowed by Marine. To be able to suppress her son, at least she must have the strength of Marine Admiral, right? It turned out well, West Blue really showed Marine's hidden monster-level combat power. The mission failed, I have to find a way to rescue the stupid son. I do not know how long it has been. Miss Bajan looked at the endless sea, and there was a hint of coldness in her deep, cold eyes. As long as her son didn't die, there was still a chance. It was time to use some hidden connections and connections. Rescue the stupid son first and then. After half a day. West Blue, Marine's T3 branch, although only a small base. In the past three years, Luo Lei has been the only one, but. Although the sparrow is small and complete, basic life training can be guaranteed. So, after Zephyr and others arrived at the T3 branch, without any rest and conditioning, it directly entered the devil training mode. In Zephyr's words, this trip to West Blue, being attacked by Edward Wabel, was also an unforgettable experience for the Marines of the recruit battalion. He had to strike while the iron was hot to get twice the result with half the effort. Certainly, seems to be for learning. Hoshigaki Kisame also joined in. As a very serious ninja, no serious ninja, no seal. Hoshigaki Kisame will not be arrogant or embarrassed, and now he just wants to learn armament hockey, observation hockey, marine six styles to make himself stronger, especially Samahata, who seems to be very eager for armament hockey. To this, 
Zephyr didn't say anything, he readily agreed and taught Hoshigaki Kisume well. In his words, that is to witness the birth of a monster-level ninja. At the same moment, in the central area of the base, within a humble office. Ding, congratulations host, you have completed the daily task, 5 months of training, reward, 10% experience. Ding, Fusion 2nd Hokage Senju Toborama's template, unlocked to 60%. Call, listen to the prompts in your head. Luo Lei opened his eyes, a smile involuntarily appeared at the corner of his mouth. I have finally completed this daily training task. The 10% experience reward is simply a pleasant thing. After all, it took him three years to unlock the template of second Hokage Senju Toborama to 50%, and now he has received 10% of the experience reward at one time, which is not too cool. Hum, it was at this time, in Luo Lei's spiritual world. A young man wearing a white Hokage robe, lined with a blue ninja suit, and a Hokage hat on his head seemed to have been unlocked. His aura suddenly changed, and he took out several specially made Flying Thunder God Kanai. Randomly thrown out. Flying Thunder God Technique. Swish. A cracking sound rang out. In the blink of an eye, the young man wearing the Hokage hat disappeared. After half an hour, Luo Lei finally woke up from this integration, and his spirit returned to reality. Cool, after a little sense of the harvest, Luo Lei's face was overjoyed, and he couldn't help but wave his fist. This time, after unlocking the template of second Hokage Senju Toborama to 60%, he finally unlocked the forbidden technique Flying Thunder God technique. In other words, his strength not only increased, but also achieved a leap. Once you cast Flying Thunder God, it is almost invincible, and the force is also higher. System. I want to see my newest attribute panel. After a while, perhaps because he was almost used to the fusion, Luo Lei stretched and gave a silent command. Ding, host's latest property panel is being generated. Ding, the latest attribute panel has been generated. Dash, host, Luo Lei, age, 15 years old. Abilities, shave intermediate, iron body intermediate, paper arts intermediate, moonwalk intermediate, tempest kick intermediate, finger pistol intermediate, observation hockey beginner, armament hockey beginner, second hokage, templates of senju tobarama unlock 60% fusion, gentle fist grandmaster, white eyes, junior sage body, flying thunder god technique, forbidden technique, basic water style. Character summons, hoshigaki kisame, random lottery, zero times, draw points, None. The Flying Thunder God technique has been mastered. After a quick glance at the properties panel, Luo Lei was happy and muttered. Compared to the previous properties panel, there is almost no change in the current attribute panel, and there is an additional prompt for character summoning. The unlocking and fusion of Forbidden Technique Flying Thunder God technique also gave Luo Lei some confidence. After all, second Hokage Senju Toborama has the title of the first speed ninja in the ninja world. As for what is Flying Thunder God Technique, needless to say, it is an S-class space ninjutsu developed by Second Hokage Senju Toborama, which is a type of body flicker technique. Using the spell to achieve teleportation, the caster will leave a Flying Thunder God spell on the target in advance, and no seal is required when it is activated. I really didn't expect that water style has not been unlocked, but the forbidden technique Flying Thunder God Technique has been unlocked. Luo Lei's eyes flickered slightly, and he couldn't help shaking his head. Now he, only some basic water style. He really wanted to know that it must be very cool to use the S-class water style with all his strength on the sea. Don't worry, take your time. Soon, Luo Lei calmed down and stopped thinking so much. After three years of wretched practice, and the summoned Hoshigaki Kisame, he is almost invincible. Next, he just needs to practice well, and sooner or later he will stand at the top of the sea. Besides, now he still has time. Now that the strength has been exposed, it is time to set off some storms to prove his strength. Sudden, just when Luo Lei was thinking about something, his observation hockey seemed to sense something, and immediately raised his brows. While slightly surprised, the corners of his mouth raised a slight arc. It's very fast, has Pulsolino, one of Marine's three admirals, arrived. At the same time, Marine's T3 branch, on that rudimentary training ground, Marine 6 styles shaved, laugh, a cracking sound rang out. The ground beneath Hoshigaki Kisami's feet burst in vain, 
and his body turned into an afterimage, appearing in the open space dozens of meters away. Try again. Hoshigaki Kisame adjusted some details again, his eyes narrowed, and then his feet suddenly exerted force. Click. The ground cracked again. This time, Hoshigaki Kisame's speed was almost invisible, and he appeared in the distance in the blink of an eye. Obviously, he was more proficient in shaving. Using Chakra's high-speed moving body flicker technique and instant high-speed moving body flicker technique, shaving seems to have the same effect. And after stopping, Hoshigaki Kisame moved his feet a little and nodded thoughtfully. Currently, he not only knows body flicker technique, but also shave in Marine 6 styles. So, in future battles, there will be more choices. Kisame, you are truly a genius. Right in front of him, looking at Hoshigaki Kisame who had learned to shave in Marine 6 styles, Zephyr was amazed and couldn't help sighing. How long has it been? In less than half a day. The results of it. Hoshigaki Kisame learned to shave in Marine 6 styles. With the so-called body flicker technique, Hoshigaki Kisame's speed has at least improved in quality. But, just at this time, both Hoshigaki Kisame and Zephyr seemed to sense something, their brows furrowed involuntarily. Marine's Admiral is here. The next moment, Zephyr took a deep breath and gestured at Hoshigaki Kisame, saying, I'll teach you Moonwalk and Finger Pistol in Marine 6 styles later. No problem. After hearing this, Hoshigaki Kisame grinned, revealing sharp fangs, and his golden pupils looked at the boundless sea in the distance. Indistinctly, a golden flash was flying towards the place where the T3 branch was located. One second, dot ten seconds, thirty seconds. Time goes by minute by minute. Perhaps because of the influence of Zephyr Sensei and Hoshigaki Kisame, the marine recruits in the marine recruit camp who were cultivating all had puzzled expressions, apparently not knowing what was going on. Finally, after three minutes, whoosh, Kazaru flashed a few times in the air, and appeared on the island where the T3 branch was located. After seeing Zephyr, another flash came to Zephyr. Mr. Zephyr, long time no see. Kazaru glanced at Zephyr with a look that he thought was very serious, but unfortunately, there was still a wretchedness in his eyes. While talking, Kazaru turned his eyes, glancing at Hoshigaki Kisame not far away, his expression suddenly became serious. Strong, that shark-faced man is definitely a monster-level combat power. As Marine's admiral, Kazaru is also well informed. Almost at the first sight of Hoshigaki Kisame, he knows that Hoshigaki Kisame is definitely a ruthless character, at least killing people, no less than him. Vaguely, it also made him feel a wisp of danger. At this time, Kazaru is looking at Hoshigaki Kisame. Hoshigaki Kisame was actually looking at him coldly. Before Kazaru came, Zephyr had already popularized some of the high-end combat power of the sea to Hoshigaki Kisame. What the four emperors, what the Marine Three Admiral, what the world's largest swordsman, and the five elders of the world government, the commander of the whole army, even some big pirates in the sea, the giants of the underground dark forces, etc. No doubt. This wretched man in front of me. It is Pelusolino, one of the three admirals, who eats Logia sparkling fruit. Marine, Marine Admiral here, has Lord Pulsolino, one of the three admirals, come to the T3 base. Quote dot 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 quote. At the same moment, seeing Kazaru confronting Hoshigaki Kisame. On the training ground, the Marine recruits who were training originally had their eyes fixed, and they reacted with hindsight. To know, this, is Marine's Admiral. For these Marine recruits, such characters can be said to be unattainable existences. Now that I can see Pelusolino up close, many Marine recruits seem to be a little excited and nervous. Even Bin's and Ain's expressions fluctuated. The only one who could remain calm was Zephyr. His gaze towards Kazaru was full of helplessness and regret. Different road non-phase plan. Justice of Kazaru. Somewhat at odds with his justice. More importantly, Kazaru relies too much on the power of the fruit, and he has not changed his mind after repeated teachings, which makes him a teacher very heartbroken. However, Zephyr would never have thought. In the original work, the three apprentices he taught gave him a one-stop service, Akainu ordered, Kazaru started, Aokiji erected a monument, and it was considered a decent way to die. Are you going to fight? I do not know how long it has been. Hoshigaki Kisame grinned and said excitedly, I haven't fought Logia Demon Fruit Power yet. Talking, talking, 
Hoshigaki Kisume took Samahata behind him in his hands, looking like he wanted to fight. No need. Hearing this sentence, Kazaru narrowed his eyes slightly, an exaggerated expression appeared on his wretched cheeks, and said in a meaningful way, I came to West Blue just to see Teacher Zephyr, who was killed by that pirate. No, take that daring pirate back to naval headquarters by the way. Humph. The voice did not fall. Zephyr couldn't help but snorted coldly, and said without appreciation, thanks to you, I can't die. Mr. Zephyr, what do you mean? Kazaru's eyes flashed an unhappy look, and said, I was sent to West Blue, not for you, otherwise, I would have been off work for a long time. Get off work, it's okay not to say. Saying that Zephyr was also a little angry, he said earnestly, Pelusolino, don't you know how to cultivate hard? If you rely too much on Devil Fruit's power, you will suffer the consequences sooner or later. What did you say? Kazaru's voice increased a notch, I'm Marine's Admiral now, and it's not your turn to teach. When it comes to this, Kazaru couldn't help but clenched his fists. What's so special, almost every time they meet, he will be belittled and preached by Zephyr, and every time he says that he relies too much on Devil Fruit's power, isn't that belittling him? Do you look down on him? There is not much speculation. If it wasn't for Marshal Sengoku's orders, he really didn't want to come to West Blue. Ha ha, Zephyr smiled disapprovingly, I used to be an admiral. What's the big deal? You, Kazaru took a deep breath and suppressed the anger in his heart. It was useless to talk about it. He and Zephyr were born in conflict, and there was nothing to say. And seeing this scene, in particular, seeing Kazaru, one of the three admirals, and Marine's chief instructor Zephyr, full of gunpowder, the Marine recruits at the scene couldn't help but look at each other and swallowed cautiously. Although I don't know why. But, Kazaru Admiral and Teacher Zephyr are so tit for tat, these Marines can only bow their heads, stand like scumbags, and dare not speak. As for Hoshigaki Kisame, but it showed a meaningful expression. The teacher is kind and the disciple is filial. What a harmonious scene. If it was Karigakur during the blood fog period, I'm afraid I wouldn't have drawn the sword long ago, or you would have died or I would have died, right? Head of the branch, where is Luo Lei? After a few seconds, as if he was a little irritated by what Zephyr said, Kazaru's wrinkled face was a little impatient, and he said, Admiral from Naval Headquarters is here, don't you show your face. Wretched man, what do you want to do? Body flicker technique. Shave. The voice did not fall. Hoshigaki Kisame Ishin has three uses, holding Samahata with one hand, quickly nodding with the other hand, and shaving in Marine 6 styles, his body disappears in vain. Marine Admiral is amazing, isn't it? What kind of style is there to say, Lousy will fight you with style? Not good. Seeing Hoshigaki Kisame disappearing suddenly, Kazaru felt a little bad all of a sudden. As Marine's Admiral, Logia Sparkling Fruit's ability, he has always used speed to bully people. This is the first time he has been attacked by others with speed. Swipe. The next moment, with a burst of air, Samahata broke the air and bombarded Kazaru with lightning speed. Boom. A crisp voice moved forward. Kazaru's body turned into a golden light, and after a sudden flash, he retreated into the distance. It's scary. Ninjutsu used by ninjas. The restored Kazaru. Although he was not injured, but, there was a look of horror and disbelief on his cheeks. More importantly, this shark-faced man is very fast. If it is just a shave in Marine 6 styles, he is confident that he can dodge it, but, at a critical moment, he uses another kind of moment. The movement technique caught him off guard. Obviously, this guy performed teleportation ninjutsu. What a miraculous elementalization, isn't it hurt? The other side, looking at Kazaru who was not injured. A thoughtful expression appeared on Hoshigaki Kisami's face. In fact, he just wanted to use the body flicker technique to catch Kazaru by surprise and try to see if Chakra could break the elementalization of those with natural fruit abilities. Now, it seems that ordinary Chakra attacks may not work, only Armament Haki's attacks can has an effect. Wait a minute, maybe Chakra can break the elementalization. The next moment, as if thinking of something, a ray of light flashed in Hoshigaki Kisami's eyes. Wait a minute, maybe Chakra can break the elementalization. The next moment, as if thinking of something, a ray of light flashed in Hoshigaki Kisami's eyes. 
It's a pity that Hoshigaki Kisame couldn't help but sigh at the thought of not being able to sage mode, what else could he say? I can only pin my hopes on the boss Luo Lei. Once the magic chakra can really break the elementalization of the Logia demon fruit power, it will be interesting. Oh, the old man didn't come to fight. At this time, Kazaru squinted his eyes habitually, looked at Hoshigaki Kisame, and said solemnly, since you have already shot, as Marine's admiral, let me see how powerful you are. Originally, Kazaru doesn't want to do it, just mix up the ambiguity. But, since Hoshigaki Kisame took the lead, then he can only go with the flow and follow the orders of Marshal Sengoku to test the strength of Hoshigaki Kisame, a ninja that can rival the strength of Marine Admiral. He really has some disbelief. Come on, let's fight somewhere else. Swish. With a cracking sound, Kazaru flashed and appeared on a reef hundreds of meters away, looking at Hoshigaki Kisame. Just to my liking, Hoshigaki Kisame was not afraid, and with a flash of his body, he flew out. Hum. See this scene, Kazaru slowly stretched out his right hand and pointed the tip of his middle finger at Hoshigaki Kisame. In an instant, the dazzling golden light gathered on the fingertips, suddenly shot out, and bombarded Hoshigaki Kisame. However, in the face of this attack, Hoshigaki Kisame wasn't afraid, but instead increased his speed and endured the attack abruptly. Boom, a terrifying explosion resounded, and Hoshigaki Kisame's body was forcibly bombarded to the ground. The powerful force even caused a huge pothole to appear on the ground, which shook violently. That's it. Kazaru frowned, a look of contempt flashed across his wretched cheeks. How strong does he think Hoshigaki Kisame is? Or a ninja comparable to everyone in Marine? Do not make jokes. How is this possible? Why didn't Mr. Kisame dodge? At this time, looking at Hoshigaki Kisame who was blasted to the ground, the marine recruits on the training ground were a little confused, and even couldn't help rubbing their eyes, afraid that they were wrong. Marine Admiral is very strong. But, isn't it enough to defeat Kisame-sama with a single blow? That's not how Lord Kisame is when facing Edward Wabel. This guy is testing his resilience and defense, right? Zephyr showed an expression of seeing through everything, and shook his head speechlessly. When he spread the information about the four emperors to Hoshigaki Kisame, he mentioned that one of the four emperors, Kaido, is extremely powerful, with unimaginable defense and vitality, and is called, the strongest creature, eating the devil fruit in the form of Yuyu fruit, phantom beast, and blue dragon. Upon hearing this message, Hoshigaki Kisame suddenly felt some movement. Because he ate the devil fruit in the form of a fish and fish without side effects, an ancient species, and a megalodon. As marine admiral that much attack power. As predicted. As Zephyr expected, after a few seconds, Hoshigaki Kisame jumped out of the pothole intact and glanced at Kazaru provocatively. The meaning was very simple, I didn't have much defense, but you couldn't break my defense, the attack was too weak. It's scary. Seeing this, Kazaru didn't pay much attention to it. Instead, he said with a crooked mouth, have you been kicked by the light? Swish. The next moment, in the public eye, Kazaru's figure turned into a golden light, like a flicker, and appeared in front of Hoshigaki Kisame, his foot completely turned into a dazzling golden light, and he kicked it. Unfortunately, in the face of Kazaru's attack, Hoshigaki Kisame still didn't mean to fight back, and took the kick abruptly. Boom, a dull crash sounded, perhaps it was too much power, and Hoshigaki Kisame flew out backwards, making a scratch of hundreds of meters on the ground, and then gradually stopped. Um, how can this guy's defense and recovery be so strong? Once the hit was successful, Kazaru sensed it with observation hockey, and found that Hoshigaki Kisame's breath seemed to be a little unstable, but it was recovering at a very fast speed, like an undead monster. Not just a ninja, or a zone demon fruit power. Certainly, as Marine Admiral who has lived through countless events and countless battles. Soon, Kazaru noticed something was wrong. This Hoshigaki Kisame seems to be not only a ninja, but also a top zone demon fruit power. Thinking of this, Kazaru's eyes turned to Zephyr. Naval headquarters gave him the intelligence information that Hoshigaki Kisame was a ninja with a strength comparable to Marine Admiral. Now it seems that Zephyr teacher deliberately left out some important information. Hoshigaki Kisame is actually a ninja who ate top zone devil fruit. The other side, in a huge pit, Hoshigaki Kisame was lying there with a huge wound on his chest, bleeding blood. 
But, if you look closely, you will find that the corners of Hoshigaki Kisami's mouth are filled with a little smile. Because, in the face of Marine Admiral's attack, he did not use chakra, nor did he use the armament hockey stored in Samahata, relying on his tyrannical body, he defended hard. Now, it looks like he's seriously injured. Actually, it's just some skin trauma, and the injury didn't reach the bones. More importantly, the injury he suffered is recovering at an extremely fast speed. In almost less than three seconds, the injury has completely recovered. Cool, it's really cool. Feeling recovering from the injury, Hoshigaki Kisame laughed and stood up from the pothole. Obviously, he is quite satisfied with the devil fruit in the form of Yuyu fruit, ancient species, and megalodon. After this incident, he will study armament hockey well and strive to become a ninja, undead Kisame. The defense is very strong, and the resilience is also good. It won't be another undead monster, right? Looking at the intact Hoshigaki Kisame in midair, a rare dignified look appeared on Kazaru's lazy cheeks. No doubt, Hoshigaki Kisame's abilities are beyond his expectations. I don't know why, facing Hoshigaki Kisame, he actually has a feeling of facing the beast Kaido, which is undoubtedly a bit nonsense. After all, Hundred Beasts Kaido is one of the four emperors. The defense is extremely pervert, and the resilience is pretty terrible, especially when armament hockey is used, very few people can break Kaido's defense. Ha 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 ha, this feeling, is really cool, I haven't experienced it for a long time. Hoshigaki Kisame didn't care so much, he slowly clenched the Samahata in his hand, showing a rough smile, there was heart-pounding excitement in his eyes. The test is over, he's about to start attacking now. Although not armament hockey, but water style seems to be Tionk Demon fruit power, right? Besides, next to the sea, it's really a waste not to use water style. Looks like it's going to be real. Kazaru Admiral on one side and Kisame-sama on the other, it's two. Kisame-sama seems to be serious too. Quote dot 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 quote. Perceiving a somewhat tense atmosphere. Especially seeing Hoshigaki Kisame and Der Kazaru Admiral's attack intact. The marine recruits on the training ground looked horrified, and they didn't even dare to breathe. Even the top recruits in the recruit camp, Ain and Bins, had cold sweat on their foreheads. There is no way, such a confrontation between the top powerhouses in the sea, even if it is a glance, let them Alexander. Just to see the true strength of Hoshigaki Kisame. Not far away, Zephyr was very relaxed, folded his arms and looked like he was watching a play. In all fairness, neither Kazaru, one of the three admirals, nor Hoshigaki Kisame, Luo Lei's subordinate, are weak. At the same moment, very scary. Facing everyone's eyes and looking at Hoshigaki Kisame who seemed to be about to explode, Kazaru lost his face a little and said with a crooked mouth, your strength is really strong, your resilience and defense are also good, but I am Marine's admiral. Eight-foot Changuyu. The voice did not fall. Kazaru's body turned into a golden light in vain, and suddenly appeared in midair, with his hands in front of him. Hum, the dazzling golden light gathered on his hands, like a sun, and a terrifying energy shock wave erupted. Then, in front of everyone's eyes, countless golden rays of light roared out like a gust of wind and rain, storming towards Hoshigaki Kisame, attacked away. Are you finally starting to get real? Hoshigaki Kisame looked at the golden light bullets in the sky, his eyes were fixed, his whole body chakra gathered frantically at his throat, and his hands quickly formed a seal, water-style blast water rush. After this sentence, there are almost no signs. From bottom to top, Hoshigaki Kisame's mouth spurted out several terrifying shock waves of water. Boom, 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 in an instant, a roaring sound resounded. Looking around, the white water shock wave and Kazaru's laser continuously collided, and bursts of ability shock waves that made the scalp numb, forming a scene like the end of the world. Fear, quite scary. On one side is water style. On one side is the ability of sparkling fruit. Between the sea and the sky, white and gold have been connected into one piece, and explosions continue to occur. And that mighty force, there were cracks in the air. Vaguely, the island where the T3 branch was located began to tremble constantly, and cracks appeared in some places. So strong, Kazaru Admiral and Kisame-sama, how strong are they? Fortunately, Lord Kisame is also a Marine, otherwise. Quote dot 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 quote. 
looking at the shock wave that made the scalp numb, and hearing the roaring sound that made people hum in their minds, the marine recruits on the training ground were a little dumbfounded. The battle between Edward Wable and Lord Kissimmee was much more exciting and violent. More than this, already starting to rejoice that Lord Kissimmee is from Marine, with a look of reverence on his face. Marine Admiral is very strong, everyone knows it, and it is also recognized by the sea as the strongest Marine, but Lord Kissimmee fought against Admiral without falling behind, which made them even more in awe of Lord Kissimmee in their hearts, and worship. Enough, are you trying to destroy the T3 branch? In vain, at such a moment, a cold shout resounded. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Accompanied by a piercing sound of breaking through the air, countless flying thunder god Kanai broke through the sky and appeared in the area where Hoshigaki Kisame and Kazaru were fighting. Immediately after, silently, like flickering figures, they appeared out of thin air in the places where the Kanai were. Immediately, under Kazaru's unbelievable gaze, the golden light bullets he shot disappeared with the figures. That's right, just disappeared, not even observation hockey can perceive. Nani, it's scary, how is that possible? Kazaru is a little confused, and his brain is not enough. If he is not mistaken, those figures seem to be Luo Lei, right? Then, teleported, and transferred all the golden light bullets that he shot away. Confused, extremely confused. For a time, even Kazaru was a little confused about the situation. As Marine Admiral, who has gone through countless battles and seen countless major events, this is the first time he has seen such an incredible scene. To actually transfer all his golden light bullets away, there are some things that he can't accept. Space Fruit No, it doesn't seem to have the aura of demon fruit power. Transfer someone's attack instantly, what kind of terrible ninjutsu is this? In midair, Kazaru's expression on his wrinkled cheeks changed, as if thinking of something, and he hurriedly shook his head, denying his conjecture, it was Luo Lei's vain show, which made him have a little creepy. If someone really moves instantly, wouldn't that be the ability to defeat him, the Logia sparkling fruit? Coupled with the water style displayed by the guy in front of him, if he can control the sea water, he seems to have some restrained demon fruit power. As for the reason, of course, there is sea stone factor in the sea water. Good guy, when did ninjas become so scary? Thinking of this, there was an ominous premonition in Kazaru's heart. How is this possible? What happened? The golden light bullet fired by Kazaru Admiral disappeared. I seem to have seen Luo Lei Commodore, more than one. Quote dot 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 quote. Almost all the soldiers of Marine Recruit Battalion who were watching the battle directly exclaimed, just now, without any warning, they saw dozens of Luo Lei Commodores suddenly appear and disappear, taking away the golden light bullets that filled the sky. How is this possible? Could it be that Luo Lei Commodore split up dozens of clones and teleported away Kazaru Admiral's attack? What kind of weird trick is this? Thinking of this, the Marine recruits headed by Ain and Binz all gasped. Even Zephyr, who had been sitting firmly on the Daoyutai all the time, had a drastic change in his expression at this time, and his eyes were filled with an unbelievable look. Obviously, he didn't think that Luo Lei wouldn't do anything if he didn't do anything. But, after just a few seconds, Kazaru and Zephyr with observation hockey. Almost at the same time, he seemed to sense something incredible, and invariably looked towards the sea in the distance. Rumbling, rumbling, the golden light bomb appeared out of thin air in that sea area. It bombarded the sea level at a speed that could not be hidden by the ears, and a deafening roar broke out. The powerful force caused the sea level to set off a stormy wave, and countless huge waves swept out, which was very terrifying. What kind of ninjutsu does this Luo Lei perform? As expected, the attack was diverted to that sea area. This is not an illusion, it really happened. Quote dot 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 quote. See this scene, in an instant. Kazaru and Zephyr, a storm surged deep inside. They were not idiots or idiots, and they immediately understood that Luo Lei must have performed some kind of ninjutsu, able to teleport and deflect others' attacks. It's really getting more and more fun. Let's get you a big one. However, Hoshigaki Kisame at this moment. But without giving Kazaru any time to be shocked, his body flashed and he appeared on the surface of the sea. The ninjutsu performed by the boss of Luo Lei. He knows it, isn't it the shadow clone technique and the flying thunder god technique? We, 
Diverted Kazaru's attack is better. His attack can attack Kazaru without hesitation. Water style Big Water Megalodon. Hum. A terrifying aura emanated from Hoshigaki Kisami's body. Immediately, Hoshigaki Kisame violently spurted a wave of water hundreds of meters from his mouth, instantly forming a huge ellipsoid-shaped water prison, and this was just the beginning. Perhaps drawn by the chakra of Hoshigaki Kisame. Next to it, the already turbulent sea immediately gushed out dozens of huge waves tens of meters high, which flooded into the huge ellipsoid-shaped water prison as if covering the sky and the sun. Boom! In this situation, a larger and larger giant ellipsoid water polo appeared on the sea surface. Call, call, call. This was the sound of many marine recruits gasping for breath, and their minds went blank. Because, when everyone was still shocked by Luole Commodore's bizarre tactics, Hoshigaki Kisame actually did it again. Chakra surging, actually on the sea, created an incomparably huge, larger than the T3 branch. The islands are even bigger ellipsoid water polo. Do not, it can no longer be said that it is an ellipsoid water polo. This, it is simply a large water meteorite suspended on the sea. I, at this time, Kisaru in midair also came back to his senses. When he saw the large water meteorite suspended on the sea, he was suddenly speechless. Did you make a mistake? His alt was moved away, but Hoshigaki Kisami's alt came out perfectly. Besides, in the face of such a big water polo, Kazaru is a little suspicious that his attack is not useless. Swish, swish, the next moment, maybe it feels like the amount is almost there. The large water meteorite evolved into a giant water megalodon shark comparable to the size of an island. With a flick of its tail, it cut through the air and opened its big mouth that covered the sky and devoured it towards Kazaru. Walk, facing the big mouth of the water basin of the giant water megalodon. Kazaru, the size of an ant, didn't hesitate at all, his body turned into a golden flash, and he wanted to leave. He is not a fool, this giant water megalodon, even if it explodes, it will be scattered into water, and it will be useless. Besides, there is also an elusive luole, you must first take a look at the form. After all, for ninja means, he felt that he had too little knowledge, and it was easy to be caught off guard. After all, for ninja means, Kazaru felt that he knew too little, and it was easy to be caught off guard. It is helpless to say, he is also a battle-hardened man, he has encountered all kinds of opponents, even the four emperors, but, but he has never encountered such a strong one as Hoshigaki Kisame. Ninjas, compared to that of Wanokuni, are trash among trash. Certainly, at this stage of the battle, Kazaru also believed in the information reported by Mr. Zephyr to naval headquarters. Hoshigaki Kisame is indeed a ninja with combat power comparable to Marine Admiral. As for Luole Commodore, he is already invincible by his elusive ninjutsu, land. Things seem to be in some trouble. At the moment of leaving. For some reason, a meaningful look flashed across Kazaru's wretched cheeks. Three years ago, Luole was a promising new star of Marine. The ninjutsu he developed was praised by Marine's executives. However, because he offended the Celestial Dragons, he did not kneel down for the Celestial Dragons, and was personally ordered by Marshal Sengoku. Great power. It's good now. Luo lay Commodore three years later. It seems that there has been an earth-shaking growth. Coupled with a Hoshigaki Kisame that is comparable to Marine Admiral's combat power, if one is not handled well, Naval Headquarters has some headaches. Today you ignore me, and tomorrow I will let you down. How high-spirited Marshal Sengoku was when he gave the order, then how embarrassed he may be in the future. Kazaru Admiral, how did you want to leave so soon after all the way to West Blue? However, just when Kazaru's body had turned into golden light and was about to leave, a light laughter sounded, laugh, silently, Luo Lei's body suddenly appeared behind Kazaru. Wait a minute, did you teleport through that special kanai? Facing Luo Lei who suddenly appeared behind him, Kazaru stopped at the last minute, a flash of enlightenment flashed across his wrinkled cheeks. I see, just now, in the face of the flying flying thunder god Kanai. Out of curiosity, he grabbed a Kanai and wanted to examine it carefully, but found that there was nothing special except for a special technique, so he subconsciously put it on his body. It's good now, at that moment just now. There was a slight chakra fluctuation from Kuwu, and Luole appeared behind him out of thin air. Cocooning oneself, 
This made Kazaru almost vomit blood. Speed is power, so, have you ever been beaten by water style? Water style water dragon bomb. Laugh, with a slight chakra fluctuation. Luo Lei quickly formed a seal with both hands and used the seawater to create a water dragon that was dozens of meters long. Elementalization. In the face of this sudden attack, Kazaru's mind moved, and he wanted to activate the ability of Logia Sparkling Fruit, but found that his body, affected by the sea stone factor contained in the water dragon, was a little weak, and his response was a little slow. Boom, it is such a hesitation. The monstrous water dragon carrying the sea water bombarded Kazaru from top to bottom, directly bombarding Kazaru into the mouth of the giant water megalodon. Quiet, a dead silence. It only took less than a few seconds from Luole's appearance to Kazaru's being bombarded into the mouth of the giant water megalodon. The situation has changed dramatically. Countless marine recruits, watching the scene in front of them, their eyes widened, showing a ghostly look, even Ain and Bins were almost in a petrified state, and their minds went blank. What else can I say? They actually saw Marine Admiral being suppressed and knocked off. More importantly, facing the attack of Luole and Hoshigaki Kisame. Kazaru Admiral seems to have no choice, even his proud speed has been suppressed, and he can't turn any waves. Let you not rely too much on Devil Fruit, are you suppressed now? Some of, only Zephyr couldn't help but shouted angrily. Kazaru is his proud disciple. He has always taught Kazaru to practice hard and not rely too much on Devil Fruit's power, which will put the cart before the horse. It turned out well, Kazaru just doesn't listen, and what ambiguous justice. If you practice hard, that's fine, right? Checking in and going to get off work on time every day is the life he longs for. Normally, it's fine, but now facing Luole and Hoshigaki Kisame with strange methods, they are restrained abruptly, right? Of course, it's not that ninja's water style restrains demon fruit power, but the water contains sea stone's active ingredient pyrobroin, sea stone factor. In other words, as long as you fight on the sea, using water containing sea stone factor, the water style is tionk demon fruit power. Of course, depending on the individual's physical fitness, the influence of the sea stone factor is also different. Some people just touch the water containing the sea stone factor, and they instantly collapse and become powerless. Some people can still move like ordinary people wearing sea stone handcuffs, and some people can restrain the influence of the sea stone factor to the greatest extent. Now Kazaru is facing this problem. I don't usually burn incense. Now that it is affected by the seawater containing the sea stone factor, the body becomes a little hesitant, and even the elementalization that Logia Demon Fruit Power is proud of cannot be used. In the Battle of Masters, it is such a hesitation that people may catch the flaws and fall short. The fact is also true. After being devoured by the giant water megalodon, Kazaru was imprisoned by the endless seawater in the giant water megalodon. Although Kazaru was trying his best to break free, he was still greatly affected. On the contrary, Hoshigaki Kisame has entered the Samahata fusion form, flying freely in the body of the giant water megalodon. Boss Luo Lei, I'm going to beat Marine Admiral. Swish. With an afterimage, the half-shark state Hoshigaki Kisame hardly hesitated, and rushed towards Kazaru, with chakra wrapped around his fist, and bombarded Kazaru's chest fiercely. You, facing Hoshigaki Kisame's attack, Kazaru, who was already suppressed by the sea water, could only wave his arms in a hurry and use armament hockey to parry. Boom, a crash sounded, Kazaru's body trembled violently, and the huge strength made his arms a little numb. It was really Hoshigaki Kisame who ate fish fruit, ancient species, and megalodon fruit. The power was too terrifying. Uppercuts, lowercuts, knees, sweeps, kicks. While your sickness kills you. For a time, Hoshigaki Kisame continued to attack, fully utilizing his advantage in the water, and beat Kazaru abruptly. As for the beaten Kazaru, facing a series of attacks from Hoshigaki Kisame, he could only parry in embarrassment. Perhaps it is too dependent on the ability of Logia Sparkling Fruit. Under the influence of speed, Kazaru's strength has been greatly affected. Especially in close combat, it can only be passive defense, and there is no effective counterattack at all. Boom, another left hook, Hoshigaki Kisame bombarded Kazaru's left cheek with a punch, and even with armament hockey's defense, Kazaru's head was tilted, a large mouthful of blood was spit out, and a few teeth were lost. 
This, how miserable, in the belly of the giant water megalodon, Kazaru Admiral appears to be completely pinned down. Master Hoshigaki Kisame was so violent and pervert in the water that even Admiral was beaten. Quote dot 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 quote. At this time, after the initial shock and disbelief, watching the scene in the body of the giant water megalodon in midair, the marine recruits were all stunned for a while. Are you kidding? Admiral, was beaten up and vomited blood. Did you make a mistake? But, the fact is happening in front of you, people have to believe. Oh, I hope you can learn a lesson. Zephyr sighed heavily and shook his head involuntarily. Kazaru's strength is not weak. Now that he is being beaten by someone, he relies too much on the power of Logia sparkling fruit. Without speed, even the power of swordsmanship has declined, more than half. Boom, another dull crash sounded, perhaps it was too much power, and Kazaru's body flew backwards and was blasted out of the body of the giant water megalodon. This time, Hoshigaki Kisame did not stop him, but let Kazaru fall out. Swish, at the moment of falling out, Kazaru seemed to have regained his freedom. His body turned into a golden light, and he retreated for hundreds of meters. He stared at Hoshigaki Kisame inside the giant water megalodon with an ugly expression. Luo lay on the training ground. Suffocated, really very frustrating. Since becoming Marine Admiral, Kazaru has never been so frustrated and helpless as he is now. Besides, he came to West Blue. Just ordered to test the strength of Hoshigaki Kisame and Luo Lei to see if it is as exaggerated as Mr. Zephyr reported. It's good now. The test is the test. His famous name was basically destroyed. After being beaten up, Kazaru felt like crying when he thought about it. Once upon a time, he had never been so embarrassed. Is it finally over? This, is this too miserable? At the same moment, looking at the embarrassed Kazaru from afar, the marine recruits on the training ground took a deep breath, suppressed their throbbing, and lowered their heads cautiously. No way, it's really miserable what Kazaru Admiral looks like. Looking around, the cloak of justice has disappeared, the yellow shirt and the white t-shirt are shattered, one side of a pair of sunglasses has been blown off, the left cheek has been swollen, and a few teeth have been lost. It looks like a refugee, generally. Cool, Hoshigaki Kisame didn't care so much. His hands quickly formed marks. The giant water megalodon suspended in midair, covering the sky and sun, poured into the majestic sea with a flick of its tail, setting off dozens of waves. A turbulent wave. Swish. Immediately after, another cracking sound resounded. Hoshigaki Kisame appeared on the training ground. After a brief glance around, he took a few steps forward, carrying Samahata on his back, standing behind Luo Lei. Do you want to continue fighting? Seemingly feeling that it was almost over, Luo Lei's mouth twitched slightly, glanced at Kazaru who had retreated far away, and said loudly, if you still want to fight, I will accompany you to the end. Humph. After hearing this, Kazaru's body flashed, and he also appeared on the training ground. His face no longer had a condescending expression. Instead, he looked at Luo Lei with a solemn expression and said coldly, Luo Lei Commodore, are you polite? If you don't agree, I'm going to fight, I'm Marine Admiral. When it comes to this, Kazaru's heart couldn't help but have some anger. He's Marine Admiral and this guy is just a little Commodore, not even Rear Admiral. The results of it, when he committed the following crime, he immediately started to do it, and he did not pay attention to him at all. What's more, he was suppressed and beaten violently. It's not easy to say such shameful things. He could only grit his teeth and swallow in his stomach. Oh, really? Hearing Kazaru's words, Luo Lei shrugged disapprovingly and said in a low voice, I don't want to be promoted, and I don't expect to be transferred back to naval headquarters, so I don't need to give you face, and besides, aren't you here to test us? You, the voice did not fall. Kazaru wanted to spit out a mouthful of old blood. What's the matter, temptation is temptation, and you don't have to give me a little face, right? In front of so many marine recruits. Deserve to be hidden in the snow. Certainly, think so. Kazaru didn't want to say more. The strengths of Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame are far beyond his expectations. Ninjas are so scary, even if he is caught off guard, he will be taught a lesson. It's terrible. Forget it, go back to your life. The next moment, Luo Lei seemed to think of something, and said meaningfully, Marshal Sengoku, I should be waiting for your good news. 
Anyway, I will be at West Blue and do my duty to safeguard Marine's justice. Hee <laughs> hee, upholding justice for West Blue. Kazaru took a deep look at Luo Lei and said, You're the first general to handle naval headquarters with such confidence. Mr. Zephyr, it's time for us to go back to naval headquarters. After saying this, Kazaru turned his eyes to Zephyr who had been watching the play all the time. It is good. Zephyr didn't say much, just nodded neatly. Things have developed so far. All fools know. After learning about the strengths of Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame. What a huge wave the naval headquarters will make, at the very least, Marshal Sengoku must not be able to sleep. That afternoon, Kazaru, Zephyr, one of the three marine admirals, and the marine recruits from the recruit camp left the West Blue T3 branch in a hurry and went back to naval headquarters. Along the way, the soldiers of marine recruit battalion are not even breathing. As for Kazaru and Zephyr, the contradiction seems to have deepened, and neither of them said much. Obviously, both are very clear, this time, naval headquarters is sure to shake violently. Three years ago, the marine recruit, who had been frozen by the marine executives, came back with a very strong attitude. One is not handled well. Marine would be in turmoil. Boss Luo Lei, Marine's admiral is quite interesting, with a few brushes. West BLUET 3 branch. On the training ground, Hoshigaki Kisame stretched and grinned, if I hadn't caught him off guard, it wouldn't have been easy to deal with. Yes, after hearing this, Luo Lei, who was slowly hitting gentle fist, nodded unmistakably. The strength of Marine Admiral is unquestionable. This time, although Hoshigaki Kisame beat Kazaru violently, this is based on Kazaru's ignorance of ninja tactics. Eating a cut will make you wiser, even if you use Flying Thunder God for a sneak attack. It won't be so easy. Forget it, I'll try to practice armament hockey. Next moment, Hoshigaki Kisame didn't bother to think too much. After playing against Kazaru, he also saw the strength of Marine Admiral, which is quite strong. All right, if Kazaru knew Hoshigaki Kisame's evaluation of him, if he was still strong, he would definitely spit out a mouthful of old blood and anger. The dignified Marine Admiral, the highest combat power of the naval headquarters, is actually described as quite strong, what does that mean? Is it Admiral who looks down on Marine? Um, Luo Lei slapped gentle fist slowly, a smile flashed in his white eyes, and said meaningfully, the storm is coming. After two days, Zephyr and Kazaru just returned to naval headquarters. Actually, Kazaru can go back earlier. But, thinking about the injury on his cheek, he still wisely stayed on Marine's warship and returned to naval headquarters with Zephyr, Marine's recruits. After all, get back to naval headquarters as fast as you can. If someone asks him, what's up with the wound on his cheek? How should he answer? Don't you feel comfortable with yourself? It's better to go back slowly and make the injury on the face a little better, at least the face is decent. Inside a conference room on the top floor of naval headquarters. After Zephyr and Kazaru returned to naval headquarters, they were summoned to a meeting by Sengoku, besides them, Akainu, Aokiji, one of Marine's three admirals, and the Crane staff, the hero Garp. Staff Crane, tell me the results of your investigation. He glanced at Kazaru and Zephyr suspiciously, and Sengoku, who was sitting in the main seat, gestured to Staff Crane. He asked Kazaru to test Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, to see if the so-called ninja with the strength of Marine Admiral was true or not. The results of it, when I went, I came back with Zephyr and others. In less than a few days before and after, when I asked him about the result of the test, he also looked awkward. So far, he has not reported the specific situation of Luo Lei to him. Okay, Staff Officer Crane's face was a little unsightly, and he said coldly, according to my investigation, a rear admiral from naval headquarters was secretly bought by a giant in the underground dark world of New World. Zephyr took Marine recruit to West Blue for an internship. He leaked it out. Boom, the voice did not fall. Zephyr, who was still a little suppressed, couldn't hold it anymore, his face showed uncontrollable anger, and he slapped the table fiercely. With his powerful force, the table was shot with dense cracks in an instant. What do you mean? Even Naval Headquarters Rear Admiral was bought off. Do you know how traumatized this incident has caused me? More than 20 Marine recruits in the recruit camp have died. If Luo Lei and his subordinates hadn't arrived in time, just wait and collect my body. Talking, talking, 
seemingly remembering those dead students, Zephyr's emotions gradually got out of control. A rear admiral was bought. This caused him and the students in the recruit camp to be in a situation where they were almost wiped out. Zephyr is really unbearable. Isn't that taking our marine seriously? Facing the eruption of Zephyr, Akainu also had the same gloomy expression, and said extremely coldly, I will go to New World in a few days. It's time to clean up the garbage in the underground dark world. Apart from this rear admiral, there should be a lot of marine problems, right? Aokiji put his hands on the table, his eyes were a little cold, and he said solemnly, it's been a long time since the purge, those guys are really going too far, bullying marine too much. Um, staff officer Crane rubbed his head with a headache and said, these days, I will clear the naval headquarters from the bottom up. All right, Sengoku seemed to have expected this situation for a long time, and did not show any surprises. He glanced at Zephyr and said, no one expected this time, naval headquarters will give a reasonable solution. Quote, Humph. Zephyr snorted coldly, folded his arms around his chest, and stopped talking for a moment. Continue. Sengoku glanced at Staff Crane again. This time Zephyr was attacked by a pirate named Edward Wabel. Staff Officer Crane took out a few documents and said solemnly, according to our investigation, Miss Bajan, the mother of this great pirate, was on the same boat with Whitebeard. One boat. Remnants of the rocks pirate. After hearing this. Garp who was eating snacks, muttered to himself, if it really has something to do with Whitebeard, things will be a little more difficult. One boat, remnants of the rocks pirate. After hearing this, Garp, who was eating snacks, muttered to himself, if it's really related to Whitebeard, then things will be a bit big. All right, Garp's voice was small, but, there are some masters present, and I heard it clearly. In an instant, Akainu, Kazaru, Staff Crane, Sengoku frowned. As Marine's top executive, everyone knew that anything, whether it involved the Rocks Pirates' remaining party or Whitebeard, one of the four emperors, would become very troublesome and Marine couldn't ignore it. As for Rocks Pirate, it is a large-scale pirate group that was famous all over the world before the Roger Pirates became famous. Already perished, Edward Newgate, Charlotte Linlin, Beast Kaido, who are currently in the second half of the Grand Line, were once the crew of Rocks Pirate. After a few seconds, maybe I noticed that the atmosphere was a little dignified. Staff Officer Crane took out the teacup, took a sip of hot tea, and added with a dignified expression, according to our investigation, Edward Wable's brain has some problems, but, the strength is still very strong, except that he has no shock fruit. Besides, it's almost a younger version of Whitebeard. Yes, I can't beat Wable anyway. Zephyr thought for a while before slowly adding, Weibull is a little stupid, but he still has some strength. As for whether it has anything to do with Whitebeard, that's not clear. Maybe Whitebeard doesn't even know he has a stupid son. It's probably fake. Aokiji showed a serious expression and said solemnly, that Miss Ba Jin must have used some special means to steal Whitebeard's cytokines and make a fool. And Akainu, who had always been gloomy, said extremely coldly, no matter what, it is unforgivable to dare to take the initiative to attack Marine. Pelusolino, what do you think? Sudden, just at this time. Sengoku frowned, glanced at Kazaru who didn't say much, and asked a question curiously. To know, in normal times, Marine's high-level executives hold a meeting. Kazaru has been talking in a condescending manner for a long time, and now, since the meeting, he has not spoken much, and his expression is very serious. This sudden change made Sengoku a little uncomfortable, didn't he just go to West Blue? Not transgender, is it necessary to change so much? There's nothing to say, it's normal for Edward Wabel to be suppressed. He deserves the bad luck and dares to do things in West Blue. Kazaru hesitated before speaking. After saying this, a strange expression appeared on Kazaru's face unconsciously, the corners of his mouth twitched slightly, and he was secretly grateful. Fortunately, he didn't rush back to naval headquarters in advance. Otherwise, the injury on his face would definitely not heal. Thinking of this, Kazaru felt resentment in his heart. That Hoshigaki Kisame, who punched him in the cheek, didn't use armament hockey, but used chakra, which is unique to ninjas. It took two days for his face to gradually disappear. Pelusolino, didn't you go to West Blue? Seeing that Kazaru didn't mention the subject, Aokiji added with some doubts, what is the strength of that Luo Lei from the T3 branch? 
Mr. Zephyr, is it true that the ninjas said to be comparable to Marine Admiral's combat power? It is true. Kazaru felt a little depressed in his heart, but his face was expressionless, and he said solemnly, Luo Lei from the West Blue T3 branch and his subordinate Hoshigaki Kisame are both very powerful ninjas. So, how do you feel when you test them out, isn't it cool to fight with ninjas? A gleam of curiosity flashed in Aokiji's eyes, and he said, I am very curious about powerful ninjas. Puff, the voice did not fall. Kazaru almost scolded foul language in anger. He was beaten up by a ninja and asked how he felt. Isn't it cool? Isn't that putting salt on the wound? But, although his heart hurts so much, but, Kazaru has nothing to say. Could it be that he took the initiative to test others, and the non-party did not win, but was beaten up? Even one-on-one -on -one PK doesn't have any chance of winning. If you really say it, then there is no place for his old face. Kazaru, why is your left tooth missing? Perhaps sensing that there was something wrong with Kazaru's emotions, Aokiji grinned and changed the subject voluntarily. Toothache, pulled it myself. Kazaru felt like he was going crazy. This Aokiji, why didn't I find so many words in normal times? Did he have to say that his teeth were knocked out? Ah, seeing this, Aokiji frowned, and immediately knew that something was wrong, so he could only look at Zephyr with doubts. At this time, more than Aokiji, even Sengoku, Staff Officer Crane, Akainu, and Garp couldn't help frowning, apparently sensing that something was wrong. Marine Admiral had a toothache, and he was not afraid of people laughing when he said it. There's something wrong with this Kazaru, there's a problem, there's absolutely a problem. What is the specific situation? Soon, Sengoku took a deep breath, stopped looking at Kazaru, and asked Zephyr directly, Pelusolino went to West Blue, what happened? Ha ha, Zephyr heard this, smiled disapprovingly, and said, since you want to know, then I will tell you from beginning to end. All right, for what happened at West Blue? Zephyr didn't want to hide it, and couldn't hide it, after all, so many soldiers from Marine Recruit Battalion were witnesses. Mr. Zephyr, Kazaru's expression changed, and a look of helplessness flashed across his wrinkled cheeks. He opened his mouth and wanted to say something, but nothing came out. That's it, that's it. It looks like it can't be hidden. The old man's fame was destroyed in West Blue. I was invited by Luo Lei Commodore to the West Blue T3 branch after Edward Wable was suppressed by Hoshigaki Kisame. Zephyr glanced at Kazaru, the corners of his mouth curled up slightly, and he spoke to himself. One second, dot two minutes, five minutes. As time goes by. Finally, after ten minutes, Zephyr just finished explaining what happened at West Blue. Silently, the entire conference room fell into a dead silence. Finally, after ten minutes, Zephyr just finished explaining what happened at West Blue. Silently, the entire conference room fell into a dead silence. No way, no one thought, there is such a thing happening in West Blue that is enough to shake the sea. Pulsolino, one of Marine's three admirals, was beaten by two ninjas in West Blue, and even his teeth were knocked out. How incredible is this? But, now it's actually happening. Noisy, maybe too surprised. A ray of hot energy permeated Akainu's body, which invisibly raised the temperature of the conference room by a few degrees. On the other side, Aokiji also seemed to be surprised, and wisps of cold air radiated from his body. Under the alternating heat and cold, there was a rare occurrence of water vapor visible to the naked eye in the conference room. And this is the beginning. Staff Crane's right hand holding the teacup froze. Garp, who was eating donuts, kept his mouth wide open. Even Sengoku, who had the title of the resourceful general, looked a little stiff and obviously couldn't keep his composure and calm. That is, at this time, only then did they know why Kazaru had changed so much after returning to naval headquarters. It turned out to be deflated at West Blue. Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, and his subordinate Hoshigaki Kisame, worked together to clean up. Just thought of, Kazaru was ordered to take the initiative to test West Blue. But they were cleaned up. Aokiji, Akainu, Staff Crane, Garp, and Sengoku all couldn't believe it. It turned out that the clown was Kazaru himself from beginning to end. Ha ha, see this scene. Zephyr showed a very natural smile, quite a thrill of success. At first, for the so-called celestial dragons, 
Marine's executives resolutely hid Luo Lei in West Blue, wanting him to fend for himself in West Blue's T3 branch. It's good now. Luo Lei not only did not fend for itself. Also grown up. Yesterday you ignored me, today I let you down. Now let's see what your Marine executives will do. Disgraceful and thrown home. As for one of the protagonists of the event. There was already bitterness and helplessness on Kazaru's wretched cheeks. What else can I say? In the end, he took it all alone. But, when I think of the ninjutsu of Hoshigaki Kisame and Luo Lei, Kazaru still has some lingering fears in his heart. It's not that he is not strong enough, but that the opponent is too weird and pervert, and he was caught off guard. It's really scary. I do not know how long it has been. Only then did Aokiji chuckle and shake his head. He couldn't help but sighed, I didn't expect that there are such terrifying two ninjas hidden in the little west blue. As a Commodore, how can you be so strong? Ninjutsu that can teleport, and that Hoshigaki Kisame, who is not only a ninja, but also eats the top zone devil fruit. A ray flashed on Akainu's dark cheeks astonished. Interesting, it's really getting more and more interesting. Garp took a mouthful of the senbei and looked at Marshal Sengoku with a half-smiling smile. At first, for the frozen marine supernova Luo Lei. He, but he strongly opposed it, but Marshal Sengoku was determined to hide Luo Lei in order to protect celestial dragons. Now there is a problem with the snow, and if one is not handled well, Marine is afraid that it is not to laugh at the generosity. It's a bit difficult. Staff Officer Crane was relieved of the teacup in his hand, and his deep eyes looked at Sengoku. Such a difficult problem is not easy to deal with. I, Sengoku, who has become the focus of everyone's attention, felt uncomfortable and wanted to cry for a moment. What's the matter, did he shoot himself in the foot? More importantly, how could Luo Lei of the T3 branch grow so fast, and even recruit a ninja with a strength comparable to Marine Admiral? Isn't that slapping him in the face? A troubled autumn. After a few seconds, Sengoku couldn't help but let out a sigh. Then, taking a deep breath, his expression suddenly became solemn, and said, Luo Lei's strength is beyond our expectations, so we naval headquarters should wait and see what happens. Wait and watch it change. After hearing this, Kazaru frowned and said solemnly, don't you call him back to naval headquarters. The naval headquarters must be recalled. Akainu narrowed his eyes and said in a strong tone, no matter what, Luo Lei is the head of the West Blue Marine T3 branch, and he should obey the orders of naval headquarters to maintain the justice of the sea. Better not act rashly. Aokiji hesitated for a moment before saying meaningfully, we don't know about Luo Lei's specific attitude. Once he annoyed him, he would directly take the burden and defect from Marine, and the consequences would be very serious. Well, don't be too hasty. Staff officer he thought for a moment, and agreed, otherwise, once he is not happy with Marine, he forms a pirate group or joins a certain four emperor's force, it will be a big trouble. After listening to the words of Aokiji and others, Sengoku turned his eyes and looked at Zephyr, and said very solemnly, Zephyr, what do you think? I see with my eyes. The corners of Zephyr's mouth were slightly raised, and he said something disapprovingly, then got up and left the conference room without looking back. If you know today, why should you be in the first place? Now I know I'm in a hurry, I know it's hard to deal with, and I know I'm cramming. Did you go for hammering then? Besides, Zephyr is too aware of Marine's high-level urine. Now that I see Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisami's strength, it's hard to deal with them, so I will talk like this, otherwise, I won't even look at Luo Lei. In short, the mentally handicapped is worthless. In short, the mentally handicapped is worthless. And, dot now Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame. The value was so great that even the top Marines didn't know what to do with it. Therefore, under such circumstances, the atmosphere in the conference room, with Zephyr's departure, vaguely fell into rigidity and solidification. Among them, the face of Marshal Sengoku is the most ugly. This Zephyr did not give him any face at all. It was obvious that he wanted him to take the initiative to bow his head to Luo Lei and admit that he was wrong. This is completely impossible. As Marine's Marshal, Everything he does is to safeguard the interests of celestial dragons, and by the way, safeguard the justice of the sea. So, three years ago, he resolutely hid Luo Lei for the sake of Tianlong people. Now, for him to take the initiative to bow his head to Luo Lei and admit his fault, wouldn't that deny his values? 
This is a matter of principle and absolutely cannot be broken or compromised. Certainly, now Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame are too strong, and even Kazaru, one of the three admirals, was beaten up. An accident, maybe someone else wouldn't be a marine, and that would be the loss of a wife and a soldier. Disaster, it's really hard. For a time, Sengoku had some headaches and was in a dilemma. After entering the era of the great pirates, the situation Marine faced was too severe. He really didn't want to see Luo Lei defect to Marine and become a pirate, but, he didn't want to bow his head and admit his mistake. We're not taking action for now. At this time, Garp, who had not spoken much, took a sip of the senbei and said, let's see what Luo Lei wants to do in West Blue, anyway, he is still Marine now. Can, Aokiji nodded, agree. Staff officer he shook his head, and after sighing, he agreed. It's scary. Kazaru sighed and didn't bother to say anything. This encounter made him understand his limitations. He really relied too much on Devil Fruit's power, so he planned to take some out of his work time in the future to practice well. As for cultivating after get off work, that's fine, right? Whatever you want. Akainu's face was gloomy, obviously a little unhappy. It is good. The meeting continues. After listening to everyone's opinions, Sengoku took a deep breath and said, Regarding what happened in West Blue, we only need to announce the news that Edward Wabel attacked Marine's former admiral and was taken prisoner, and try to share the information of Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame as much as possible. Erase it. After a few days, a message came out. Caused a little bit of waves in the sea. The content of the news is that the great pirate Edward Wabel attacked Marine's former Admiral Black Arm Zephyr and was suppressed and captured. As soon as the news came out, many pirates were still shaken. Obviously did not expect a pirate to attack Marine's predecessor Admiral Black Arm Zephyr. However, after knowing that Edward Wabel's mind was abnormal, many pirates were relieved. It turned out to be a fool. In the news, there is almost no information about Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame. Obviously, Marine used his power to wipe everything out. The meaning is very simple. That is, Luo Lei, the head of the West Blue T3 branch, wants to keep a low profile in West Blue. Then, if the Zephyr attack was an accident, Marine would take care of the aftermath, Luo Lei and Hoshigaki Kisame just had to keep a low profile, and everyone could just pretend that nothing happened. At the same moment, at West Blue's T3 branch, Hoshigaki Kisame is doing moonwalk training in Marine Six Styles over and over again on the training ground. Maybe it's because of inexperience. After stepping on it a few times, it fell from the air. Bang, bang. This is the sound of Hoshigaki Kisame falling on the training ground. And on the other side, Luo Lei is wearing a white training suit, his black hair flutters in the wind, as for his hands, they are constantly knotted. 9991 9992, 9993, 0.9998. Ding. Congratulations, host. You have completed the daily quest 10,000 seals reward, 1% experience. Ding. The fused Senju Tobarama template, unlocked to 61%. Call. Hearing the prompts in his head, Luo Lei couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Then he shook his sore hands. He finally unlocked 61% and completed the daily tasks. It was really special. It's not easy anymore. When will it be ahead? Ding. Congratulations to host for unlocking Senju Tobarama's template to 61%. Unlocking Chakra Perception. Ding. Congratulations to host. Do you choose to integrate? The next moment, the crisp sound of the system resounded in Luo Lei's mind. What? Is it actually Senju Tobarama's Chakra Perception? Fusion, almost without hesitation, Luo Lei blurted out. Luo Lei knows about Senju Tobarama's chakra perception. Among Hokage ninjas, Senju Tobarama has outstanding perception ability since childhood, and successfully tracked Hashirama when he was a child. He can sense the number and strength of the Golden Horn and Silver Horn troops when he touches the ground with two fingers. The second resurrection is Chakra who can easily perceive the battlefield thousands of miles away. So, once integrated with Senju Tobarama's chakra perception. Then his observation hockey, I'm afraid it will also achieve a transformation. Hum, in the next instant, before Luo Lei could react, a warm current poured into his body without pain or itching. Under such circumstances, Luo Lei's perception increased at a speed visible to the naked eye. 
1 minute. Dot 10 minutes, 30 minutes. After half an hour. Luo Lei just finished integrating the harvest this time. As expected of Senju Tobarama. Feeling the transformation of his own perception, Luo Lei unconsciously showed a look of amazement and couldn't help sighing. Every time I fuse the Senju Tobarama template, he felt that he was gradually becoming stronger, and he was able to achieve a transformation from the soul level. This time, after he integrated Senju Tobarama's chakra perception, perhaps there was a chain reaction, and he directly upgraded the observation hockey, which was just a junior, to the highest level. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.